Hello, hello everyone, and welcome once again to another AOL Shareware Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. How's everyone doing tonight? It's good to see you. Welcome on in, Green Lantern fan. Congratulations on getting the first. And hello, Squid. Your Majesty has arrived. Welcome, welcome. It's good to see you. Uh, let's do some Shareware Sunday. It is time to take the L on the L games. We are going to play all of the L games tonight and possibly all of the M games. We will see what time it is when we get through the L games. There are not that many of them. Just taking a look. There's, yeah, there's only like seven. There's about the same amount of M games. So well, there's a little more M games actually. Actually, there's a lot of M games. We'll either save the M's for next time, or we'll do the M and M's in two parts. There's actually quite a few. But that's for later. Now it is time for the L's. How are we doing tonight? How's everybody's Sunday gone so far? Uh, had a great Saturday stream. That was a nice little charity event that we participated in. I had a lot of fun. Thank you for those who hung out and those who donated. Really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, I, uh, I was going to do diamond Q today, but at the last minute I kind of decided that I'm going to change a little bit how the diamond Q works. Um, I have realized that giving these games a tiny amount of time on a single stream is not really doing them justice, uh, so going forward, all of the diamond games are going to be thrown into the long list. And I'm thinking what I'm going to do with the long list next time that we have a rolling of it uh, is that I will spin instead of one big wheel that has every game. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spin three wheels because I have a lot of games on there now. We're going to spin three wheels. One of them's going to be my games that I put on the long list. One of them is going to be community additions to the long list. Actually, I'll do four wheels. Four wheels. One of them's going to be my games that I put on the long list myself, the ones that I've chosen. Um, one of them's going to be community games that have been added by channel points. And one of them's going to be uh, lost community shuffler games and then the fourth wheel is going to be the diamond queue so we're going to get one uh item from each of those categories each time we do the long list we'll still vote on which one is played in what order um and that's how we'll get through the diamond queue and that way we guarantee we get one community chain game one uh of my games one of the old long list or the old uh, community shuffler season one games and one of the diamond Q. I think that sounds good. Rather than just kind of playing a dim the diamond Q games randomly once a month. <laughs> so that's kind of what I just decided like within the last 30 minutes before I started streaming. <laughs> I was like, I don't feel like doing the diamond Q. Why don't I feel like doing the diamond Q? Because the diamond Q's I'm not doing it right. I got to actually play through these games and beat them and do my best to actually complete them. I don't want to just play it for an hour and then be like, bye. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for top of the show business. Let's get down to some AOL shareware. That's what you're all here for. N391981, welcome on in, friend. How are you today? It's good to see you. Welcome to AOL Shareware Sunday, where we play the shareware so you don't have to. Let's do it. We're going to start off today. Long live Crow. Are you, are, are you, is that, is that, a, how are you doing Crow? Long live Crow. Are you the same Crow? For, are you Umbran Crow from chat, from Twitch chat, or are you a different Crow? This is, uh, this is long live Crow on YouTube. Welcome on in, friend. It's good to see you again. Looking forward to some gems. Hell yeah, we got we got lots of gems and diamonds for sure. Um, 
yeah, we're going to play top of the day. We've got this ladybug game. Ladybug hunt. Ba -da -da -da. A O L time. We're going to put the A, we're going to put the L in AOL today. Ladybug.exe. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's see if this comes up on stream. there we go perfect now that shows up pretty large on stream but i gotta tell you guys it's about 25 it's like less than 25 percent of my screen on my on my end <laughs> here we go ladybug hunt what is this new game well i found a ladybug am i hunting with the ladybug what am i hunting about options we have difficulty we have time let's turn on the sound probably have to activate this i'm gonna turn on desktop sound for a second hopefully remember to turn it off i don't hear anything though ladybugs eat other bugs they're great for gardens yeah they eat they eat aphids oh game over uh let's try again play again yes How do I play? Is there a read me? Ladybug help.txt. Ladybug hunt. The object of the game is to smash as many ladybugs as possible in the time allowed. I'm killing the ladybugs? That's not cool. I don't like that. There is no advantage to registering this game other than the good feeling you get when you help contribute to the time-consuming habit of the computer gamer. Uh, Alright, well, let's, let's actually play the game. So this is like Whack-A-Bug? What? No. Every time I click on the ladybug, it's asking me if I want to open a file. This is weird. I have to like cancel a dialog box every time I do this. Oh, it's a sound. It's trying to play a sound. It's trying to play the sound, but it's like trying to open it. Game over. What's this sound it's trying to play? Whoa. <laughs> so that's the sound it was trying to play let's let's turn that down and try it again oh my god Petey welcome on in my raid my uh my raid alert's broken <laughs> welcome on in Petey uh thank you so much for the raid uh sorry you missed us with your raid last time but it looks like you're making up for it now Always sucks when that happens. Everyone check out PDVX. What were you streaming today, PD? Thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. You're here just in time for the start of AOL Shareware Sunday. Different crow. Okay, yeah. So we have two different crows between uh, Twitch and YouTube. That's good to know. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's Ladybug Hunt, everybody. That's, uh, that's a very simple game. I'm not sure I really uh, approve of the destruction of ladybugs. Yeah, let's move on to the next game. Welcome on in, people from PD's chat. We're doing AOL Shareware Sunday. We're playing AOL Shareware games from the 90s. Babylon Zool. Good to see you as well. Welcome on in, friend. Another fantastic retro streamer. 
Uh, but yeah, we're playing through all the L games that were on AOL shareware back in the day. Next, we're going to play Larry's Learning Letters and Numbers. See what's going on with Larry. Holy crap, that was loud. Sorry, guys. Huh. Fuck. Uh, one to learn the alphabet, two to learn numbers, and three to play with the sounds. Let's play with the sounds. Press the letters and numbers to make lots of nice sounds and speech. The space bar changes with the sounds the keys make. It's like a soundboard. It's kind of brilliant, honestly. Okay, so... Interesting. All right, let's learn. Press the letter A. A apple. A apple. B balloon. Crazy. Okay, so this is a uh, really young children. What about numbers? Wow. One racing car. <laughs> he sounds kind of depressed. Only one racing car? Zero means nothing. That is why you do not speak the game anymore. Ah, I see. <laughs> That's what zero means. Six racing cars. Two racing all right well that's larry's learning letters and numbers let's read the details okay it's just the help section well, that was a good one <laughs> thank you click and play all right next game on the list we're just tearing through this one next one is titled leaper thank you larry all right, let's play Leaper. It's going to be a DOS game. Leaper.exe. Leaper. If you enjoy this game, your contribution would be appreciated. $15 is suggested. But even if you don't make a contribution, you are encouraged to copy and share this program on the following conditions. The program is not modified, no fee aside from the cost of a disk is charged, and that this notice is not removed. Also, everyone check out Babylon Zool. If you have not already, you will not be disappointed. They are another fantastic retro streamer. They've been playing through the original Fallout. And they play lots of point-and-click adventures, which are also fun. It's super fun to watch. Lots of, lots of FMV games over there. Check them out. All right, let's play some Leaper. Press Enter key to start. This is a basic Frogger clone. Seems like there's no sound. Nope, there's sound. PC speaker sound. Good old Frogger. Hmm. 
doesn't love a good game of Frogger? Oops. I guess Frogger doesn't really normally have any music to it, does it? It just has, but it normally has like the sound of the frog moving. I actually remember my uh, my grandmother had all these floppy disks that had uh, bootleg arcade games on them, and Frogger was one of those games, but it wasn't this version. It was just called Frog, and it was like a very simple DOS version of Frogger, kind of like this, a little bit lower uh, detail on the graphics. City has a turtle problem. It also has a, uh, a driftwood problem and a very strange uh, dispersion of lanes on their highway. I guess they have a tractor lane. Very Oregon Trail music. Oh, look, a gator. Clearly, this takes place in Florida or Louisiana. All right, we did it. That's your name. That's Leaper, everybody. We did it. We played Leaper. Uh, this is definitely a short, uh, a short section of letters. Next game is... Legend of the Phoenix. Let us play Legend of the Phoenix, another DOS game. The world is plagued with evil. Evil that has been stirred up by the dark wizard Zelkor. Zelfkor? He summoned undead creatures to stalk the land. He conjured huge reptilian monsters and fearsome golems. His mind is flooded with thoughts of a new world where he would be the ruler. No one brave or strong has come to face Zelfkor. Not one mighty warrior will fight to save the world. Until you came. As a young mage, you must venture into the burning catacombs of Qualon, where the Sword of the Phoenix rests. It will not be easy. Zelfkor has sent his monsters to guard the place where the sword lies. Defeat the monsters and the magical items hidden in the perilous cavern, recover the sword of the phoenix, and summon the great bird of legend that will burn away all evil. Alright. Let's do it. Oh my god, okay. This is interesting. I wish it had sound. Okay, that's a life. That's a gem. Ah! Well, we sure are good at casting fireball. At these fireballs. Ah!
Yeah, I got whatever that is. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> this is difficult. Game just freeze? Is that it? Oh, okay. I like that wipe down effect. Wow. Illegal command. Let's try that again. Legend of the Phoenix. Call. Ba -da -da -ba -ba Gauntlet clone? Yeah, kinda. It'd be cool if it was multiplayer. Then I get someone on uh I'd get someone to join me on um Parsec. Of course, I have a limited resources here. Like I, I only have so much mana. All right, what's this? What? Oh, okay. I got a sword. Can I use the sword? Uh... Jean Grey looks weird. Anyone watch uh, X-Men 97 yet? I've been enjoying it. Really good. Finishing the Motendo, yes, so good. I as soon as I saw that, I knew it was Mojo. So fun. Talking X Men now. Yeah, we've been watching. Uh, me and Green Lantern fan have both been watching the new X-Men 97 uh, continuation. It's a, it's a straight-up continuation. The only thing different from the original is the animation is amazing now, yeah. Yeah, the animation's great, and, like, I, I honestly think the writing is better. Uh, the writing was already pretty good in the original series, but I think that they're really killing it with the the writers. Like the writing's clever and it like it's interesting. Okay, I died again. I don't know about this one. If it had sound, I'd like it a lot more. It also crashes every time I die. Let's see if it crashes again. I haven't seen the new one yet. I'd I've heard I'd like it as Cyclops as a Cyclops fan. Yeah, it's got a lot of good Cyclops content, I'd say. But it uh so far it's been doing a pretty good job of giving everyone their own like episodes you know it kind of splits it a little bit sometimes but um the first two episodes are definitely mostly focused on like cyclops and magneto but then like the uh the fourth one the one that just came out is uh mostly the third one was mostly like Jean gray and cyclops and then like the fourth one is like 
mostly Jubilee and Storm. Like the first half is Jubilee and the second half is Storm. Pretty good, uh, pretty good split. So I'm assuming we'll get our Wolverine episode and our um, our Beast episode. You know, they'll they'll just cycle through. That's my hope, anyways. My expectation. But it's been super fun. Really enjoying it. Uh, that was Legend of the Phoenix. <laughs> um, kind of a simple little RPG. Logic Fun is the next game on the list. Let's have some Logic Fun. LogicFun.exe Okay. Right, here it is, logic fun. Which uh, the original series is pretty close to the comics, so I don't know. I don't know how close these uh, new episodes have been to the comics, but I assume they gotta be influenced by some part of the comics at least. All right, logic fun. Let's play. Let's let's go. Is this like a? This looks like some sort of engram type of game. Uh, what to eat? All right. What to eat by Lisa SM Player. Is it really that tiny? Turn page. Play. Oh, there we go. That's better. Logic grids. I love those. Yeah. Okay. So how does this work? Every weekday morning, Fred has had the same breakfast at the Savy uh, at the Savile Diner. Until last Monday, when Fred decided to change his breakfast. For each day, Fred ordered eggs in a different style with a different type of bread and fruit. Can you determine the style of eggs Fred had each day, as well as the type of bread and fruit that accompanied the eggs? Uh, clue one he ordered the toast the day before he had fried eggs he had the hard roll the day after he ordered the banana man you, uh, good on Fred for having such a variety in his life he ordered toast the day before he had the fried eggs he had the hard roll the day after he ordered the banana he ordered scrambled eggs the day after he ate the grapefruit and the day before he ordered the blueberry muffin he had the bagel two days after he ordered the poached eggs. He had the strawberries two days before he ordered the soft-boiled eggs. He ordered the omelet three days after he carefully selected the cantaloupe. He had the orange three days after he ate the English muffin. So, who believes in a balanced diet? Where should I even start with this? Every weekday, he had the same breakfast at the Sable Diner. So, he ordered the toast, they were the fried eggs. So... Toast can't be on Monday.
He had the hard roll the day after he ordered the banana. Hard roll. Hard roll was definitely not on the first day either. Uh, banana can't be on the last day. Uh, and the fried eggs also can't be on the last day. Scrambled eggs the day after he ate the grapefruit. So scrambled eggs can't be on the first day. Grapefruit, uh, grapefruit can't be on the last day. Stop me if my logic is flawed. <laughs> uh, the day before he ordered the blueberry muffin. So the blueberry muffin can't be on the first day. Bagel two days after he ordered the poached eggs. So the bagel can't be in the first two days. And the poached eggs can't be on the last day. Or the last two days. Poached. He had the strawberries two days before he ordered the soft boiled eggs. So strawberries can't be on the first two. Soft boiled eggs can't be on the last two. Yeah. Omelet three days after he carefully selected the cantaloupe. So omelet can't be in the first three days. Captain Confusion, welcome on in. It's good to see you. How are you today? Cantaloupe. We're playing a logic puzzle. Breakfast time. That's right. Breakfast for dinner. Uh, cantaloupe. He had the orange three days after he ate the English muffin. So, orange... Can't be the first three days. English muffin. Can't be the last three. Okay. Um. Do 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 do. Uh, I don't feel like I have deduced any actual conclusions, unless I'm completely doing this wrong. Anyone have any, uh input or um 
suggestions based on the clues we have. Each day has a type of egg, a type of roll, a type of fruit. I don't understand the, I guess I don't fully understand the bottom section, how that should be affected. So he has eggs in different style each day with a different type of bread and fruit. Mm -hmm. We were toast the day before he had the fried eggs. So he didn't have toast with fried eggs. He had the hard roll the day before he ordered the banana, so he didn't have the hard roll and the banana. Those aren't really connected. Scrambled eggs the day after he ate the grapefruit, so he didn't have scrambled eggs and grapefruit. Blueberry muffin. I fully encourage backseating for this, so if anyone has any any uh, ideas, let me know. Uh, so scrambled eggs and blue muffin are a no. Hello, Brother Fun. Welcome on in. Bagel and poached eggs are no. Strawberries two days before we ordered the soft boiled eggs. Ordered the omelet three days after he carefully selected cantaloupe. Orange after English muffin. Okay. Toast the day before the fried eggs. So look at toast. Toast. So toast is any one of these. Toast could be anybody with that. May have done some of these a little bit wrong. Uh, okay. Fried eggs. Hard roll after banana. Hard roll. And banana. Yeah, I'm not really I'm not really finding where I can create a logical deduction here with the clues that I have, unless I'm missing something. Scrambled eggs after the grapefruit. So the omelet and the cantaloupe are the most are the closest I can get because they're like a 50-50. So I guess if we just like make a decision on these ones and then try to see if we can make it work with that. So omelet three days after he carefully selected cantaloupe. So let's say omelet is on Thursday. And that would make cantaloupe.
Cantaloupe on Tuesday. And also that would mean that it can't be cantaloupe on cantaloupe and omelet at the same time. Do, 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 do. So does that create any other? Okay, so I can't, that means that is off. And so he ordered scrambled on Friday. If this is correct. Do, 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 do. Hard roll. Um, do, 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 do. Orange three days after he ate the English muffin. This is difficult. I feel like I don't have enough clues. Done. Uh, <laughs> your answers are highly illogical. Thank you. Um. I wonder if the other puzzle's easier. Week of bright beginnings. It's also the same. Well, that's interesting. I think we get the gist. <laughs> I could probably do this better in a non-streaming environment, but right now I think my uh, my brain doesn't work good. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's logic fun. I do like these kind of puzzles. I'm just not. Rocking it. They have any non breakfast puzzles? Yeah, it looks like this one's uh this one's school scheduling. But it's also about it looks like there's uh snacks involved too, so those are the two puzzles in the uh trial version. That's logic fun. Let's play Looney Labyrinth. It's time for Looney Labyrinth. Oh boy, it's a pinball. Let's restart that so you guys can get the full intro. Oh 
Oh boy. There was music. Did you guys hear the music? Oh, there's more than one track. Oh my god. No sound. Okay, thank you. I think I need to do something real fast. One second. There we go. Okay. Restart this again. Oh, every time I click on it, it stops the music. One, welcome, welcome to the Looney Labyrinth. Labyrinth. Shoot for the Minnow Chamber. With my left flipper. There's much left to explore. One on voyage. I forgot what the Shoot left the labyrinth rim. What's my left? Okay, there it is. Keep on going. Groovy one. Keep on going. There's much left to explore. This is great. Player one on voyage. Let me know if it's too loud. Or not loud enough. Ball three lock. Minotaur multi. Oh my god. Keep on going. Million. Looney multi. Ba -ba 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 what happened? I ran out of time. Come back soon. Game over. I don't know why I got game over. Maybe it's because it's the demo version. Get one more. Player one, welcome, welcome to, to the Looney Labyrinth. Labyrinth. Oh yeah, it's like timed because it's the demo version. Shoot Only get 90 seconds of play. I like this track. Ball three locked. Minotaur multi stone collected. Love a good pinball game. Keep on going. This is not terrible. The music's definitely the highlight.
Da 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 Jackpot! Shoot for the labyrinth rim. Moon Wayne. Time's up. All right, that's not that. That's not that bad. I rather enjoyed that. All righty, that is Looney Labyrinth. Nice little pinball game. Uh, we're going to go on a short break, and I'll be right back, everybody. BRB. And we're back. Let's play the next game. The next game is called Lord of Destruction. No relation to the Diablo 2 expansion as far as I know. But maybe it is. I don't know. <laughs> maybe it's just a freaking demo for Diablo 2. If so, I'm down. I don't think that's the case, though. Do, 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 do. Ooh. 
Rebel Soft presents Lord of Destruction, Part 1, Demon Hordes of Death, Unregistered Shareware Version. Introduction! Long ago, after the Earth came to be controlled by the five ancient devils, mortals existed only to be tortured by monstrous hordes. As this continued for hundreds of years, the weak began to follow the ancient ones, and they forced demonic cults, formed demonic cults. Then there would emerge from the shadows a great magician who had had his knowledge, who had in his knowledge the secret of the ancient one's destruction. Using a great sword that descended from the heavens, Magus led the mortal realm against them. And the demons were driven. Demons were driven back to the depths of the underworld. But the cultists remained faithful to their evil gods, passing their beliefs down through generations. Now, after a thousand years of peace, the dark disciples have risen. The great demons from hell to take control once more. The mighty sword was shattered into four fragments, each guarded by a powerful ancient demon. Once assembled, it should be used to destroy Morkoth, king of evil. Only a lord of destruction, a magical breed of magical fighters, has the power to defeat the ancient ones. You have been chosen for this great task, and the world is depending on you. Let's do it. No. Ah, excuse me. All right, it's time to create a character. We can be a male or a female. Oh, that's awesome. Don't really get to choose our class or anything, just to reroll our stats. I think I mostly want decent health. There we go, that's good. Oops. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's do it. Keep. 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 Welcome on in, Pal Puck. Pal Puck says, maybe the demons will run things better than the humans had. Yeah, I agree. Maybe they got it figured out. It's not letting me keep. I can quit. Begin adventuring. All right, we're in it. Searching. Finding. I see I'm in like search mode. Oh, no worries. Ah! You, didn't, you didn't miss much, but there was a really interesting pinball game with really good music. Uh, and you missed the introduction of this game, which is basically just like a uh, bunch of demons existed and we have to go stop them by putting a sword together. Pal Puck says hi to all. And sundry. Oh, hello. The mayor's office. The undead in the western part of the city are becoming a major problem. The townsfolk have reported increased cult activity. I fear for our world, Plunge. You are due no further rewards. Okay. Oh, that was back in the mayor's office. Okay. The mayor has two doors to his office. I see. Thank you. 
Oh, ah, Jesus! Fucking jump scared! Holy crap! Just bought three cobalts. Oh, wow, this is the combat, eh? Pop Puck says, hi, Green Lantern can. And so can you. That's one down, one dead kobold. Hello, uh, Tenebrae Ifaction. I hope, tene, Tenebrae Ifaction? If, uh, tenebrae Ifaction? I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, welcome on in, friend. YouTube sure loves to give you random suggestions. I'm out here looking for old AOL <laughs> well, games. It was basically Galaga, and I find it on your channel. Hell yeah. That's what this is all about. And uh, yeah, it was uh, it was literally Galaga, wasn't it? <laughs> There's also the Galaxy game that was kind of like a Galaga clone as well. I know, yeah. Ah! I, 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 like, I like reading it out. I thought I couldn't tell if it was a typo or a bit, Pow Puck. I thought it was really funny. So I read it out. Um, I didn't mean any disrespect. That Galaga game was pretty funny, yeah. Well, come on in. Uh, yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm going to call you uh, Tenebra for now, if that's all right. Um, but uh, yeah, welcome on in. <laughs> we do... We do AOL shareware, as you know. We also do other random retro stuff. I like, I like discovering stuff from the past and taking a look at it and playing it and sharing it with you all. Super fun. We have a good time here. Victory! Oh, okay. Thank you for the contribution to Yoshi's Highland, Captain Confusion. Uh, we are simulcasting both on Twitch and YouTube. The uh, chat on screen on the stream is from Twitch chat. So if you... Jesus, every time. Uh, so if you... if I, It seems like I'm talking to no one. I'm either talking to YouTube or Twitch. But yeah, it's been super fun to go through all this old AOL shareware stuff. I really enjoy it. I like putting together the list and all of the videos, uh, uploads. And there have been a lot of people who are like, man, I can't find that one game. And then they go to like look for it and it just it pops up and they, they have that aha moment. It's it's so cool to have that happen. Uh, we, we've actually had a developer in here that we, we played their game and they were super excited about it. So that was really cool too. Do I have spells? I don't think so. Target. How do you differentiate me talking to your head voices? I mean, I can't confirm whether or not you guys are just head voices, so. I think you're SOL on that one. The monsters rejoice. Plunge has failed. This is a, a super cool game. I totally want to play the full version of this. This is uh, very cool. This reminds me of like Diablo, but very like it's turn based. It's like it's like a Diablo Wizards of Might and Magic. Yeah, early Dungeons and Dragons, yeah, or like, uh, um, here, uh, uh, yeah, all those old CRPGs, early, early Ultima and stuff like that too. Very cool. Don't miss Lords of Destruction Two: Hell on Earth. Ooh, it's set in the post-apocalyptic future. That's neat. Color interface and object icons. All new original graphics and sound. 
12 spell levels, several difficulty levels, multiple save game feature, character transfer feature, online interactive hint book. That's cool. Thank you, Gabe Machia. You have a very insipid imagination to come with me. And most of you. I think everyone here is pretty unique. You're all just uh, aspects of my personality. Made manifest. A killer seven. Next game is titled Lose Your Marbles. Speaking of hearing voices, let's play Lose Your Marbles. I couldn't have planned that better if I tried. Okay, this is going to be weird. I'm going to have to do this with desktop capture. So hold on for one sec, guys. <laughs> Forkware. One streams and the other doesn't as often. That's true. All right, it's time to set up for desktop capture. Maximize that. We're gonna put this here. Yay, AOL Sunday. Good to see you, Borkware. Thanks for being here. Alrighty. This game definitely is gonna be a weird one. It's going to shunt all of my windows, so hopefully I put them in the right spot. Alrighty. <laughs> that did not work. I hope you guys can see it because I can't see my OBS window. I also can't see chat right now. So hold on, I gotta close it again. You gotta guess. If you play some of these full screen games that are in um, odd resolutions, you have to like guess where it's gonna shunt your windows to so you can still see them when you. Uh... When you open the game. So I'm gonna try that. Let's try that. Yeah, it's a Sega game. That's right. Okay. Okay, I can kind of see chat, but it's blocked. One more time. There we go. Okay, this will do. A rare Sega PC game. Yeah, Sega Soft. Lord of the Flies, yeah. <laughs> I don't even have any mods. <laughs> I really should fix that. <laughs> All right, let's lose our marbles. Shunk. <laughs> Is the audio okay? Because I can't do much right now with the OBS. You can mod me. I'll do nothing. You've definitely sold it, Squid. Tend to prefer Sega Hard or... Sega over medium. 
Sega over easy. Can you guys hear the 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 game? Can you hear the boing boing? Poached Sega. Their audio. The tutorial will help you play the game. Can you can you see and can you guys see and hear the game okay? No PC audio, okay. Let me fix that. Shoom. Yeah, you're being deprived of some great sound effects right now. But you can see the game when I pop it up. You can see it good. Let's fix that real quick. Does that have to be desktop audio? Okay, now can you hear it? I literally can't see my OBS window <laughs> when I open the game. Yes, you can hear it. Is it too loud? Just screams of children, yeah, as usual. The horrible sounds of joyful children. Alright, let's play. Shump. Level one. Boingin. What is this, Puyo? Oh, it's it's uh bejeweled basically. Kinda of, it's kind of a sliding match three, I think. Match four. Kind of panel de pawn esque. <laughs> okay, those don't work. Oh, it has to be the color. Oh, it has to be. Is this have to be in the line? It has to be in the line. I see. This is interesting. Ah, excuse me. Mwah. Very sneezy today. Oh, I can't go down that way. Okay. Marble madness, yeah. Not quite. We have to lose our marbles. Controlling the left side, in case that wasn't clear. Doesn't seem like I can do combos, but I can do big sets. So if I do this... It is definitely a game, yes. I can confirm that. We can use the scientific process to determine without factor of much of a doubt that this is in fact a game. I don't think I have anything right now. Gotta wait. Okay, now I have blue. It's unfortunate. Um, 
Am I screwed? Is there... Oh, I can cycle. I was like, is there more to this? Do, 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 do. Can't stop sneezing. I don't even have allergies. I'm just very sneezy. <laughs> Maybe I'm allergic to marbles. Digga doo digga. Oh, I can do combos. That's good to know. How do you set those up? I don't even have the slightest idea. Yeah. Excuse me. Beyond. Allergic to marbles. Yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> and no more music. The uh, orchestra's on break. The acapella unit needs to take lunch. Digga digga digga. This just seems endless. How am I going to beat the opponent? Boom. Attention spans for AOL message boards were pretty short. Yeah. Okay, I think I lost. No, I'm fine. We didn't think anyone would play for that long. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> uh, that's funny. It's hard to read chat because I have to look so far with the way the windows are shunted. Diggy, diggy, diggy. Am I winning? This seems like it would just go on forever. <laughs> Sounds like you're getting shot. I can try to set up combos. I don't quite understand how. Mm 
That hurt him. Oh, I won. I didn't even notice. Interesting. I did it. Everybody proud of me? I think I'm finished. <laughs> I did it. I won. I don't need to prove anything. I'm the, I'm the loser marbles champion. Yay, win! Honestly, not a terrible game. Um, I just wish that the music wouldn't stop. <laughs> not ter not a bad little puzzler. Kind of panel de pawn, kind of bejeweled-esque. Interesting. Lose your marbles. All right, that's pretty cool. That's lose your marbles. Let's turn off display cap. Yeah, the music only lasted two or three minutes. It really needs to loop. Turn off desktop audio. And we're good. Let's play the next game, shall we? I'm just cruising right along. The name of the next game is Lost in Space. I don't know if this is in any way related to the franchise. Lost in Space, based on the uh, old TV show. Which had, did have a movie in like the early, late 90s, early 2000s. I remember seeing that in theaters. They lost in space. I think every set of red you clear is a multiplayer. Oh, that's why the reds did so much. When you get a full five marble clear, it sends all the store. Oh, I see. It stores and release. That's interesting. Yeah, it's 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 kind of Poyo. It's kind of Penalty Pawn. Interesting. And a Netflix reboot, yeah. I heard good things about the Netflix reboot. Let's play Lost in Space. Scunny has asked us to give all his fans an important message. If you're having trouble running my game, then please run the helpme.exe program included on this disk. This should sort out any problems that you may have. Your nutty friend, Scunny. Thanks, Scunny. Copysoft. That's a neat logo. I like that. Hey, hey, it's Scunny. Special agent for hire. Stand by for important broadcast. Hula hula, I want your smoola. Get off this frequency now. Please stand by. <laughs> Papa Booey, Papa Booey. Our astronauts issued a distress call from sector MCM blah blah blah. It was faint and garbled, but he we managed to decipher it. We are supposed we we are surrounded by green things with large this sounds crazy, but they have large noses and are running about with our satellite dishes. One's coming over. He it is that's disgusting. That was the last we heard from them. All data on life forms fitting the description. One Harry Manilow. Two the evil Schnoz hordes. We limited Harry after he, we found out he was on tour. <laughs> this is great. Scunny special agent, we need you to get lost in space. 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 Scunny's bad for a day.
Your library has Lost in Space in DVD format. Nice, Tenebrae. The original or the Netflix one? Or the movie? <laughs> Which one is it? Scunny makes Bubsy look cool by comparison. Yeah, that's accurate. Had to Google it again. It reminds me of the Jetsons. That's the demo tract. No, oh, sorry. Oh, now it's restarting the whole thing. <laughs> they didn't start fast enough. All right. Let's do it. Collect satellite distance 2,500 kilometers. Moon Patrol knockoff. Eh, yeah, you're right. Please wait. Yep, it is Moon Patrol. Did the game just freeze as soon as I got hit? The old show. Nice. That's pretty cool. Okay, though, in occasion someone donates the newer remix, that's cool. Let's try that again. I mean, I guess we just got to not get hit, right? The old uh, Dune movie and the new remake in the stock. Nice. I still need to watch the old the David Lynch Dune film. Maybe I need to run helpme.exe. Try this again. Start. Ah! <laughs> okay, let's try helpme.exe. See if that helps. His crow's feet. Uh, no. When I run the game, it locks up. I don't have the correct files or files are missing that are needed to run the game. Interesting. Let's try I have lost and space.exe. Are those let's try lost.exe. Holy startup menu, right? Okay, please execute space.exe. Okay. Let's uh let's go into the options and make sure it's configured properly. We need your registration. Sounds way more threatening coming from mercenary space cop. Yeah, right. <laughs> Welcome on in, Umbran Crow. Good to see you. Do 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 do. We need your registration. <laughs> uh, game setup. Let's try that. No, no joystick. Good. Uh, beeper effects. Sound blaster effects. Yeah, there's not much I can do. What if I try level two? <laughs> oh, sorry, everybody. <laughs> that was too perfect. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's not working. Maybe we got to find the full version. Next game. Actually, that's the last L game. That, those were those went by real fast. That might be the fastest letter. 
Uh, what was weird about the Ladybug game was that the sound file wasn't missing. Uh, in the Ladybug game, the sound file was there, and the game was, like, trying to play it outside of the game every time the sound file played. It was very bizarre. Um, so it would, like, pop up a dialogue saying, how, like, how do you want me to open this file every time the sound would play? You've definitely heard me laugh before, Crow. I laugh every stream. I don't think I've gone a single stream without laughing. Thank you for the contribution to Yoshi's Highland. All right, that's the L's. Let's move on to the M's because that only took like two hours and not even. Time for some M games. Not like that. Fine. Fine. I'll, I'll have to take your word for it, Crow. Just wasn't paying attention. Yeah, that's possible. Whenever something like that happens, I always laugh. Because that's just funny. We took the L's and now it's time for revenge. Or M is fine too, yeah. Let's play Mad Minute Rush. Halfway through the alphabet, that's right, 50%. We're making good progress. The lower half seems to have more games in it. The S's in particular is a big chunk. Let's play Mad Minute Rush. We haven't had to use the uh, virtual uh, machine yet today. Ah! Ah! Okay, this one is not showing up. Would it be window capture? There it is. Cool. Uh, welcome to MAD. <laughs> Please choose an option from the list below. Then click OK. Is this just a math game? Oh, this is OK. I'm gonna have to see if I can run this on the virtual machine because it's opening multiple windows. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Da, 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 da. It'll probably work here. This isn't Math Blaster. We played that on the edutainment stream. We might play it again. Yeah, this works just fine on the virtual machine. Switch to that. Restart the machine, though. Throw the shackles to your autocratic crow. Join the re revulsion. <laughs> or else, are R S T L N E being mostly second half of the alphabet? Yeah. Looks like an elementary math game where you gotta you you got as many questions as you can done in X amount of time, something like that. Yeah. Who's the best edutainment character? That's a good question. Um, I like uh, I like the number muncher muncher. <laughs> I like him a lot. 
Uh, all right, let's do some easy addition. Dart. Uh, seven. Jesus. Oh, it's pretty straightforward. Good job. Check that again. Please type yes of no. <laughs> Please type yes of no. <laughs> yes of no. <laughs> I, I did. I, I typed it. I don't know why. Yeah, so that's literally just math questions. Great. Cool. Fun game. It is very Mavis Beacon. Ooh, no, official number muncher shirts? I don't know. Maybe. So I remember playing an elementary computer game involving a frog eating prime numbers. Interesting. Oh, yeah. I know what you're talking about. I just can't remember what that's called. But I do remember that game. Tenebra. Thank you for the clip, Crow. <clears throat> Luigi is the best entertainment character. That's not fair, Green Lantern fan. Yeah, I actually did play Number Munchers on stream not that long ago. It, it'll be in the um, now what I that it'll be in now. That's what I call edutainment. Uh, I think volume one. I think it was in volume one. We're doing volume three soon. Luigi shouldn't count. Explain because he's not an edutainment character. He's a character from other stuff that got used for edutainment. It's not fair to the actual games that were game characters that were incepted for edutainment at the start of their existence. It's just like co-opting edutainment. <laughs> uh, excluding who is ne next? Number Muncher Guy. Easy. Wally Bear. Oh, that's a good one. Wally Bear is not bad either. I learned a lot. Yeah, we learned a lot from Wally Bear. Um... All right, next game on the L on the M's. Classic, one of the oldest board games. Can anyone guess what the next game is based on that? The next game, next M game is one of the oldest board games and uh can, can anyone know what uh, know what it is? I want to take a quick crack at it before I reveal it. Monopoly. Oh, very close. Very good guess. But keep in mind, it's the second M game, so it's going to be early in the alphabet. There, And I don't think there are any Monopoly games, but that's a good guess. Much older than Monopoly, though. Magic Marbles. Marmio. Yeah. Oh, you got it, Green Lantern fan. No, you're going to kick yourself. It's Mencala. Anyone ever play Mencala? I played Mencala. Mahjong. Oh, that was a good guess, Tenebrae. That was a very good guess. There are Mahjong games, Mahjong games, but I don't think they're in the M's. That's a very close guess, though. You've never heard of Mencala, Crow? Well, now you're about to find out. Yeah, Mahjong's great. I don't know how to play uh, Mahjong, like Japanese Mahjong. Or Chinese Mahjong. I can't. Whatever it is. Whatever the one that's in Yakuza is. I don't know how to play that. <laughs> you just play this on camping trips. Yeah, Pow Puck. Mancala is really fun. I don't know if uh, this version of it has single player. We'll find out. Oh, there is a Mahjong game. 
I see it now. It's just not in my, oh, it is, there it is. Yeah. Oh, I think I'm getting ahead of myself. I am getting ahead of myself. We've got more games before Mahjong and Mancala. I'm getting way ahead of myself. Next game is Magic Crayon. Sorry. Sorry for that, guys. My apologies. I was looking at the wrong spot on my list. Mahjong is the next, <laughs> is before Mancala. But we're not playing that yet. We're playing that later. Spoilers. Sorry. Mancala is fun, though. Magic Crayon. Magic Crayon. There's a Mahjong Club in the library. It's populated by some scary competitive grannies. That's awesome. Sometimes Clever Girl cuts off. I don't know why. Uh, okay, so Magic Crayon. This is going to be in DOS box. Alive Software presents. Uh, the noises are from Twitch, Powpuck. Um, Twitch, Twitch has a thing called channel points where you just get uh, random current the the currency by watching the stream, and you can spend that on little redeems. So we've got stuff like we've got some sound bites that you can play by spending channel points. All right, Magic Crayon. I like the music. Marmio Paint. Marmio Paint. <laughs> this is the evaluation shareware version to receive the complete program, including 100 pictures to color in, more music, the latest version, technical support, free shareware from Alive Software. Order by sending US $20 to Alive Shareware in USA or Canada. Great. Oh my god. Honk honk. That is terrifying. Yeah, this is version 4.0. Let's give him a purple hat. We don't play that. I had to go how much twenty dollars worth back in nineteen ninety six. Forty bucks. Yeah, that sounds about right. I think that checks out. All right, we did it. Perfect. Excellent. Is there more? Shading. What? Oh, that's kind of cool. Do like, yeah. That's not terrible. What about this? Alphabet numbers, okay. Uh. Purple hat and a clown. Now I've seen everything. Uh, coloring book. Okay. 
everything is green. Cartoon critters. Duck. Pink duck. Not a bad little coloring tool. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. A live software. Magic Crayon is a creative and challenging experience for children who like to explore and experiment with color and shapes. Magic Crayon combines the challenges and rewards of games with hands-on active artistic exploration. A great way to introduce kids to use the mouse. It's Magic Crayon. $2 a month. Yeah, it's a cool BRB screen. <laughs> Diamond. Diamond material, Green Lantern fan says. Next game. Ooh, you guys should like this one. This one is titled... Magic School Bus Heart Pinball. Please see! Pokemon in. Good to see you. You're just in time for the Magic School Bus. Up aboard. Me on the virtual machine. Carlos. Oh boy. Uh hold on. Programs Microsoft Kids. Yeah. There we go. Yep, it's the it's the same. It's official. I think this is a mini game in a bigger game. I knew I should stay at home today. <laughs> it's another pinball game. Second pinball game of the night. Oh, it's very slow. <laughs> I remember when they took a trip to Arnold's Abyss. Yep, I remember that too. Play again? Yeah, let's try again. I don't... <laughs> there's not much to this. It's pretty simple. But I think this is like... This Magic School Bus game is like a bunch of little mini games. It's not just this. It's like a bunch of different games that you play. So if we, end, if we did end up playing the full game, it'd be more than just this. This is uh, not great, though. Let's do it one more time. See if we can actually survive a little longer. Yeah, there is a newer Magic School Bus. Accurate recreation of the Valves of the Heart as a pinball, yes. This is what happens when you have a, a, a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, because that goes to the lungs, that goes to the body. Alright, I think we get it. <laughs> Don't smoke, yeah. Don't smoke or do drugs. Product information. Join Miss Frizzle and her class on an amazing field trip into, you've guessed it, Arnold's body. That's the one it's based on. You can get behind the wheel of the bus and explore 12 different parts of the body as you just try to discover a way out of Arnold to win the game. 12 interactive science experiments and 12 fun games for hours of play. Show and tell multimedia reports that make science fun and easy to understand. 
Just click to learn fact, fun facts about where you are in Arnold's body. Inspired by the best-selling books and hit PBS television series from Scholastic. Cool. Alrighty. Next game is called Magic Squares. But Sewercast, is that safe? Asking for a friend. I don't know, you have to try it, do some science and find out, Green Lantern fan. Alrighty, magic squares. Here we go. What is this? New match. Yes. Uh, what? Help. Rule. The aim of the game is simple. Have more points in the computer at the end of the match. The points are gained are those displayed in the square you choose. Of course, it'd be easy to choose the squares with the highest points. So you must follow some rules. Are you okay, Green Lantern fan? Never aired the Magic School Bus Huff Sewer Gas because the kids weren't ready for the truth. Oh no, GLF, GLF needs to be rebooted. Water, no! Oh no! <laughs> it looked like you were trying to do some really weird emojis. <laughs> the The second one actually looks like it could be an emoji. Of just like stuff put together. <laughs> okay. Player, you or the computer must choose a square which is in the same row or column than the last played square. The first move is completely free. Choose whatever square you want. When it's impossible to play, i.e., when all the ca cases on the line or column are already played, or because all the cases have been played, the game is over and the points are computed. As the first player has a big advantage, it's fair to play an even number of games during a match so that both players begin the same number of games. If you don't understand, let's see a short example. Uh, okay, let's just figure this out. I don't... So it has to be in a different row. So like the strategy is to try to pick the highest number with the lowest numbers. Game over, I win. Okay. Weird one. Five by five Sudoku? No. No, it's not. Uh, this is just like a weird. So we have to pick a square in the same row as the previous picked player. Or the previous pick picked square. And whoever has the most points at the end of the game wins. Bizarre. Not even really a whole lot of strategy to it, honestly. Game over, I would. Oh, is that how you play Yo Noid, Pow Puck? I could never figure that stuff out. They're hocking up marbles and going to the bathroom a lot, yeah. Seven more matches. Do, 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 do. 
I'm just gonna lose every match. Computer's just smarter than I am. Game over. I win. Okay. Good job, computer. You did it again. No way. You can outsmart a stupid computer. I'm trying, Fleecy. I'm trying my best. I think Skynet's got this one. Oh, I won that match at least. I won at least one. We believe in you, right, fellas? You make computers too good at counting. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for clapping your hands. I think I can hear you. I think I can hear everybody clapping their hands. It's making me better at math somehow. It's also very distracting. Oh, computer wins. What if I just click randomly? Then, then the computer won't be able to predict my movements. Oh. If I don't know what I'm doing, then the computer definitely doesn't know what I'm doing. Nope, computer one. <laughs> Dolphin mode activated. <laughs> Is that how numbers work? Maybe. I'm not a mathematician. Two left. Computer's in the lead. The only way to win is to not play. <laughs> I can't really do a dolphin noise. Match over. I win. All right. That's magic squares. <laughs> okay. Time for a short break. <laughs> Thank you for the clip. I will be right back, everybody, with more M games. We've got some good ones coming up. BRB, everybody.
And we're back. It's time for the next game on the list, which is a little obscure title. Not sure you guys have heard of this one. A little game. A little card game. Called Magic the Gathering. Don't know if you guys have heard of that one. <laughs> A gathering, you say? Yes. Yes, quite the gathering. Okay, if the VM would cooperate, that'd be nice. A gathering of magic. There we go. 16 bit high color. You got it. It's the only good MTG. I hope DirectX is installed. Demo. Micropros. Magic the Gathering. Welcome to the demo version of Magic the Gathering from Microprose Software. Read this first. This is a pre-release software provided as is with no guarantees. There will be no patches or updates to this demo, and MicroProse will not offer technical support. You must have 14 megabytes of free space in your hard disk to download this demo. You must have an additional 33 megabytes free to run it. The file magic demo that you downloaded is a WinZip file. Well, I mean, I, I, I'm seeing this, so I obviously got that far. All right. Face stops don't always work correctly. Well, that's a problem. All right. Sounds like modern day games with roadmaps, yeah. Early access. All right. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, Gauntlet. That sounds fun. Let's do Gauntlet random deck. I don't... Yeah, I don't even know what the decks are. Let's just do it blind. Let's do a blind Gauntlet. What are the Gauntlet options? Oh, we'll just do best of one. We don't need to do best of three. Let's put up the... Oh, it has anti? It has anti. All right, let's do Sorcerer. Debug assertion failed. Oops. Oh, that's disappointing. Damn. Not so much for that. That's a dud. What if we do dual? Gauntlet. Random deck. Deck. Yeah, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Maybe if I select deck. There are no decks. Maybe that's the problem. Why are there no decks? I done wrong. Well, that's disappointing. 
I was excited to play some Magic the Gathering. I am good at Magic the Gathering, especially older, you know, stuff from when I started. Uh, that's annoying. It even has the deck files. They just don't work. Well, maybe I can get this working off stream and play it some other time. Oh, well. Maybe it works on normal Windows. I, I don't know if I tried it. Let me see if I can get it working in um, just regular Windows 10. Won't take but a moment. We need to forage more. Yeah, that's probably the problem. Where is it? Oh, that's magic squares. Uh uh uh. Say the magic word. Please! I can't actually find it. Can't find it in the uh, zips list. Maybe in this. Uh. Oh, guys. Moment. Multi layered, yeah. You didn't say the magic word. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, maybe it's in the board game section. MTG demo. There it is. I found it. All right, let's try running this on modern machine. Do, 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 do. Oh, it seems to be running just fine. Just gotta get it. No. One second, just got to fix the audio real quick. Disappear for a moment. Yeah. Okay, I want to do... Okay, so it's actually showing the deck stuff now. That, that helps. I'm going to exit real quick, though. Um, 
I want to do demo.exe. Okay, let's see if it works now. Random deck, random deck, gauntlet. Uh, yeah, let's do sorcerer. Best of one. I'm fine with that. Okay. Start of duel. Oh. Oh, it's a bunch of stuff. So we're going to have to do desktop capture. Display capture, hold on. Yeah. It's a bunch of different windows, so. <laughs> All right. Would you like to draw first or play first? Uh, let's do play first. What? Is that it? Okay. Um, let's try the duel. Gauntlet. Random deck. I'm fine with a random deck. Sorcerer. Best of one. Ante. Okay. Start of the duel. Let's play first. Oh, it just hard crashes. Yeah, this one just doesn't work. That sucks. Oh, well. It would have been informative if I could actually play the game. <laughs> uh, oh, well. I guess you'll never know, Green Lantern fan. I think you'd like Magic the Gathering. It's a lot of fun. You can actually play uh, Magic Arena for free, and it's not a terrible little free-to-play game. There'll be future Magic games. No, this is the last one. They never, they never made any more. The, the, the franchise died after this Magic the Gathering game. Okay, we're finally going to get to what we were talking about earlier. Now, Mahjong is the next game. We'll just have to settle for no Magic the Gathering today. We'll just have to settle for Mahjong. I'm interested, I'm interested to see what style of Mahjong this is. Bring it up now. All right. I think I have to, oh, there we go. Ciao. Yeah, this is actual Mahjong. I don't know how to play Mahjong. You have an excellent deck, played it for a bit with my buddy on Arena or whatever. The app had before that, and in the year or so played. We never won a single hand, ever. Uh, that sucks. Ciao. Red Dragon Pung. This is Mahjong Manga, where the character is a Japanese prime minister. He tools various world leaders for better trade deals and such. It's hilarious. That's awesome. Tenebra. Only understands Shanghai, barely. Yeah, I don't I don't know the first thing of how to play this. 
green dragon. New. Pung. Is the game playing itself? It's not a bad little Mahjong client, though, I have to say. No, that's a different type of Mahjong Umbran Crow. This is like kind of a weird sort of um, trick game, I think. It's also like auto turning for me. I don't think there's a way to change that. Can make it rules. Chows are allowed. Flowers. Oh, wow. Here. East wind. East wind. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Six circle. <laughs> Am I winning? West wind. West wind. West wind. Yeah, you collect combinations of tiles. I think it's got like scoring and all that. Yeah, Mahjong is uh you know, a very old, very popular game. It's a nice little Mahjong client. But I don't know how to play Mahjong, so I <laughs> this is kinda lost on me. But that's uh that's Mahjong for Windows. By Barry Blome. It's uh it's definitely Mahjong. Now we're gonna get to what I was uh, talking about earlier where I thought I was going to do next, but ended up having five games before that. We're going to play Mancala, which I do know how to play. This has been a hoot. Thanks for the entertainment, but I have you off. Good luck in the in this match. I hope next games don't give you the same trouble as Match of the Gathering. Oh, it happens, Tenebrae. Sometimes you get some duds. But thank you for hanging out, Tenebrae. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a great evening. Let's play some Mancala, shall we? I think this has to be a VM. Nope, works on Windows. All right, basic. Man Cal. Let's do it. All righty. Novice expert. All right, let's do novice. New game. I gotta remind myself how to play this. Okay. Rules. Help with Mancala. Mancala is one of the oldest two player strategy games in the world. It has many variations, and this version is known as Kalaha. It's just one variation. Kalaha has been played for more than 7,000 years throughout Asia and Africa. The goal of the game is to capture as many stones or playing pieces as possible. Game begins with four stones or playing pieces in each pit. The human player makes the first move. The player picks up all the pieces in one of their pits and, st and sews the pieces, one in each pit, around the board counterclockwise, including into their own kalaha. If there are enough pieces, the player continues sewing into the pits on the opponent's side of the board. If the player's last piece lands in their own kalaha, then the player gets another turn. The player may capture the pieces in their opponent's pit if their last piece is sewn in an empty pit on their side of the board. 
The player then gets to capture all of the spaces in the opposite pit of the opponents and store them all in their own Kalaha during the capturing piece. With the capturing piece. When all six pits on the side of the board are empty, the game is over. The player who still has playing pieces in their own pits gets to put them in their own Kalaha. The winner is the player with the most stones or pieces in their own Kalaha. All right. Pretty simple. So, oh, it automatically does it. Interesting. Okay. This. All right. Do two, three, four, five. Get another turn. Um, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, yeah, my call is actually a really fun game, honestly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Interesting. One. Uh, one. Bam. Far so good. One. One. Bad. Bam. Do that. Oh no, they've got ahead. Okay, do that. No, they're stealing all my pieces. Bam. Yeah, I've lost. Game over the computer one. Do you want to play again? Nope. That's that's Mencala. And call is fun. Let's move on to the next game, shall we? Manic Jumper. You need some Tetris style mood music or Professor Layton or something. Yeah, Professor Layton would be perfect. Let's do some Manic Jumping. Adam Soft presents Matic. All right. Whoa, what's happening? What am I supposed to do? The 
What's happening? Uh. Help. So read me. This evaluation version may be freely redistributed if it contains the evaluation version of jumper.exe, the help file, and this file in readme. It also includes the read jumper. Okay. So how does the registered version of Manic Jumper look like? Well, first there's no need to start the game from the beginning. Okay. But how do I play? What do I do? This game is not explaining anything to me. We've got a jumping thing. I don't know what's happening. Please help. Open with notepad. Nope, that's not going to do it. Uh, weird. Try this again. What is the object of Magic Jumper? First, let's introduce Manic Jumper. Manic Jumper is a delivery vehicle in some distant past or future. Its mission is to deliver a package to folks living on wall platforms. However, times are route and people are weird. The delivery system used by Manic Jumper Company has a special barcode on each block, which triggers a stoplight only after the block is picked up. It tells Jumper where to deliver the block. If the light is red, you will be unable to drop a block. This is a delivery truck which carries Manic Jumper from wall to wall. When a jumper successfully completes a group of delivery, it carries Jumper away to a new level. There are also some other rather unpleasant characters. A roof spider. He hangs on a roof but barely, rarely comes down to the ground. A ground spider. He stays on the ground but tries to chew up Manic Jumper's spring helper mechanism. A nuisance and extremely dangerous character. Parachute bomb. There are wars going on in the air, and these little rejects keep falling from the sky. So, what is the object of this game? The object is to deliver as many packages as possible in the shortest possible time. If you deliver a package to a correct platform, within the allocated time, you get points based on an amount of time that you have left. Whenever you bump into anything, you damage the whole hull of Manic Jumper. Since the air has become so polluted and saturated with various chemicals, the hull of a Manic Jumper breaks, you die. Same goes with other unpleasant characters, which only wait for an innocent delivery man to run into them. How do I play? Move left and right, use the left right cursor key. If you press a key more than once, the movement will be greater. You can press the key while in the air, and Manic Jumper will change directions. Can move up by pressing the up, down, stop. Space to pick up a block. Space to deliver a block. Okay. So I didn't... Okay, I didn't really understand that I was the little spring thing jumping around. This is so bizarre. Okay, so grab the block. How do we grab a block? Space bar. New parachute of bomb seems antithetical to the purpose of dropping a bomb. Hey, I'm not I'm not the, the war council here, so I'm trying to actually like grab one of these packages well, taking damage what an interesting game 
I don't really understand how to grab the packages, though. Some real bounce. Spamming that space bar. Yeah, I need to look at the uh, help again. Pick up block. Use space bar to pick up a block. In order to so you must stop the truck. Stop by the truck where the blocks are stacked. You must come to a complete stop in order to pick up a block. Okay. Do I have a block? Oh, I'm full. Okay. I do have a block right now. So now we bounce our way up. This is such a weird concept. I can think of no other comparison that is similar to this, even a little bit. This is a complete AOL shareware original. Oh my god, I'm going to die. Okay, delivery complete. We also have a limited number of jumps, I think. to like actually stop ah! uh, I wish I had sound and music it's been the biggest bummer of some of these games is that they don't have sound or music okay, we're now full There we go. Delivery to complete. Running out of time and health. This is pretty hard. So like, it's not a one-to-one -one control scheme. Just so you guys understand how this game controls. Um, I'm not like directly controlling the character. Uh, each time I tap the arrow key in a direction, it increases the speed that I'm going in that direction. Um, so tapping left increases my speed by one unit to the left. The same is true for the jumping. Uh, tapping down reduces my jump power. Tapping up increases my bounce power. So it's not like I'm... Uh, you know, 
just moving left and right and bouncing. I've got to actually like I'm just controlling speeds and bounce power. It's kind of interesting. You know what sound of music we think we're made of? Huh? Noise and songs? Take a hike. I've never played a game that controlled quite like this. Oh, I'm not. I don't have anything. Very strange. Uh, the trampoline, okay. I don't know if I got that far in Boyne's blob. I don't think I did. Maybe that's what it's based off of. Boyne's blob. I could believe that. at least get the level oh no oh no oh no ah i blew up okay that is exhausting to play because i'm literally just tapping different arrow keys that is crazy it is wild very interesting though all right time for the next game imagine that gets really difficult with the hazards that show up the next game is called Master Brain 3D. Let's play Master Brain 3D now in 3D. Fatal error. Okay, maybe that's not going to work. Uh, we might have to try this on the VM. Let's see if it works in the VM. I think I don't even think I tested this one when I installed it. I was just like, eh, it probably works. It'll be fine. Goes to open it, and it immediately says registry error. Oh, great. That's wonderful. Let's see if it works in the VM. If the VM will cooperate. There it is. Okay. Let's switch this back to uh, 256. Mm, yes. Close that. Bam. Okay. Hopefully this is easy to find. Pull it again. Master brain. These application ones. Uh, they're so poorly named I don't think it's this no no that was Mad Minute Rush and call uh, M-A-R-D-R-P what's that this is it Marble drop. Spoilers. Match in Maze Man. MP oh, this is it. Master Rain 3D. MB3D. Good. Good, good.
You're getting a peek behind the curtain here. This is what I spent many hours doing before I started showing this to you guys. Just extracting files, figuring out how to get them to work. Set up. All right. Where where to go? Where to go? Uh Uh I wasn't paying attention to where it installed cuz I didn't think I I think it, I figured it would open. I should take a look. M. Blazinsk. Where is it? See what? See program files. See program files. Of course. What a mess. Program files, M. Blazinsk, MB3D, there we go, we did it. Okay, is it gonna work here? Yes, it is. All right, Michael J. Belsinski presents, that's quite a name. Master Brain 3D. Wow, it's like it's coming out of the monitor. All right. Oh, I see what this is. <laughs> uh, new. Okay. It's, uh, it's Mastermind. We can actually, oh, you could change the camera. Look at that. It's kind of neat. Customize it to however you want. All right, guess. Gray. What is gray? Does that mean that there's one right, but it's in the wrong spot? So what if we do yellow, red, 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 guess. Two right, but also in the wrong spots. So... Let's try red, yellow, green, green. Although those look whiter. I don't know if that's an indication of something else. Is there a key here? Yes. So maybe white is correct spot. Oh yeah, hi Adam, welcome on in. Sorry about before, I'll, I promise I won't do it again. <laughs> welcome back, Adam. Tell Jeff, tell Jeff I'm sorry. How are you doing, Anima? It's good to see you. Welcome back. Uh, and you were bad. You were just like temporarily timed out. You were in timeout. That's all. You weren't. You weren't bad. Jeff, insert real uncommon last name. Yes, uh, G Jeffrey Poloman. Black is correct spot. White is right in the wrong location. Okay, thank you, Pow Puck. 
So a yellow one is correct. So this that might mean that yellow two is correct. Uh, let's try blue, yellow, um, and then one of those reds is in the right spot, maybe in the bottom one in the in the second guess. So let's try red blue guess. Oh my god, that's three correct already. So one blue, two yellow, three red, four pink. Ooh. Yeah, red on far left is correct. Are you sure? We have all the right colors now. So if we do, if we swap, you sure? All right, so red, yellow, um, uh, pink, blue very close so oh it's probably that 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 no yellow is incorrect spot okay so it's so in this one it's yellows in correct spot. So if we swap Yeah, it's it's like early wordle, but it's just colors. Maybe the blue is in two. Congratulations, you found the correct solution in eight moves. Not bad. How's the game going? It's going great, Daniel. We just won. We won before our last two guesses. So yeah, that's Mastermind. That was a lot of effort for just Mastermind. But, you know, we, we got there. We won. <laughs> woot, woot. Welcome on in, Daniel. Good to see you. How are you doing tonight? Hey, hey, two-tone eight. Welcome on in as well. Glad to see you've been uh, streaming again lately. Everyone check out Two-Tone 8, fantastic retro streamer. We're doing a lot of uh, Facet Amour, a really cool little hookshotty game, retro game. Yeah, I'm glad I've been back to it. Hell yeah. Yeah, everyone follow Two-Tone 8, you will not regret it. He has lots of fun videos that play during his stream, so many. I never get tired of it. All right, the next game is called Matchin. Let's play some Matchin. Matchin it up. Three guesses as to what type of game this is. How many players? One player. One player. I didn't click anything. Shut up. Two players. Stop. Make it stop. Three players. Quiet. Four players. One player. Oh, it's pointing to them and explaining them to me. Because it thinks I'm a three-year-old. One player. Okay, wow. All right, let's do it. Violin. Violin. Tub. 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 Oh. Terrific. Well, that was easy. All right. Umbrella. Apple. Umbrella. Apple. Flower. Pot. Cat. Zipper. Mouse. I ice cream. Balloon. 
Balloon. There's so many. Cat, cat. Balloon. 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 Terrific. Terrific. Draw. Dog. Draw. You got a match. You got a match. Heart. Apple. A apple. Good job. Good Ladybug. job. Hammer. Ladybug. We killed a bunch of those at the beginning of the stream. Flower pot. Hammer. Xylophone. Butterfly. E egg. Butterfly. Butterfly. Amazing. Death. Amazing. It's a hot dog. Boat. Xylophone. Umbrella. Xylophone. There was xylophone. There it is. You got a match. Cat. Hammer. Flower. Cat. Cat. Perfect. Um umbrella. Egg. Um umbrella. Good job. Ostrich. Hammer. Ostrich. You got a match. Ice cream. Good job. Ladybug. Juggler. Juggler. Ladybug. That's. That's a clown. Boat. Flower pot. Zip zipper. Mouse. Ha hammer. Flower pot. Boat. Hammer. Flower. Hammer. Hammer. Perfect. Ju juggler. Boat. B boat. Amazing. Amazing. Flower pot. Swing. Fire. Swing. You found one. Heart. Yarn. I'm surprised I remember that one. Mouse. Zipper. Zipper. Egg. Butterfly. Egg. Amazing. Zipper. Good job. Violin. You found one. Yarn. Juggler. Mouse. Cool. Fire. Hammer. Flower pot. Yarn. Juggler. Yarn. You got a match. Flower pot. You found one. Fire. Juggler. Fire. You found one. Juggler. Cool. Cool. Yay. <laughs> Butterfly. Ostrich. Boat. Play again. No, I'm good. <laughs> Yay. Next game, Math Trap, Math Trap, let's play Math Trap. DOS box. Okay. Let's hope this works. Press six is what I've written down. Please wait. Okay. I think it worked. Mather. Oh, it's a Moraf wear. Play. Addition. Oh, man, it's another one of these. Correct. Very good. Within the time limit, you have won. Uh... Correct. Very good. No, the answer is five, two, four, one. Oh, whoops. I keep, I keep hitting the wrong keys. That's just very good.
Yeah, it's another uh, math quiz game. Very fun, very educational. <laughs> math is a game of speed and arithmetic skill. The object of the game is to gain as much money as possible. This money will be used to buy things uh, near and dear to us all. Telephones, hot tubs, hand gliders, gold, etc. Money is earned by correctly answering a series of math problems. These problems get progressively more difficult as you gain levels. Fortunately, the higher the level you go in each category, the more you earn for each problem. Life is frequently like this. The problems. Each problem within a category, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, becomes progressively more complex as each is answered correctly. An incorrect answer drops the level of the next problem. Since money is only paid out for advancing your level, any dropped level problems earn you nothing. Answers may be typed in at the keyboard or selected by mouse. Uh, on the numeric pad. Remember, speed is of the essence, so answer each problem as quickly and correctly as possible. Are you a lightning calculator? Can you become one? With rewards this great, can you resist? P.S. No fair cheating with a handheld calculator. We know who you are, and we've seen what you've done. Oh my god. <laughs> That's great. What's more F Super End Trap? Entrap offers as-you-go instructions that appear at the bottom of the screen while you are playing. Please select whether you have these or not. What? Plays blindfold on my eyes? What? How does that work? Show instructions and hints. What is happening? Goal, reach the other end of the maze. Keys, number, numeric keypad, or... Okay. Wow, this is... These are some colors. More F-Ware games always have weird colors. Game over. Type your name. Mr. Nobody. So weird. Huh. Uh... Turn to Mather. I, I don't like it here. I want to go back to Mather. Is there anything else to this? Prizes? You get, that's so funny. It gives you like prizes to buy. I have thirty-seven dollars. What I can get? What can I get with that? I can get a check for a hundred dollars for twenty-five dollars. That can I just buy a bu Can I just buy the check, cash it, and then buy another check? Infinite money glitch. Uh, 24. It's like a vending machine. A check for a hundred pennies. Oh, ah, uh, they got me a hundred pennies. Those jerks. I think that's about it for Mather. I don't know why it's labeled as Math Trap. No. Time to order more games. More Fware is a weird one. Here's their catalog for all their different games. Taught you math and life lessons. The lesson, never trust math. Yeah, it's true. Burn it all down. <laughs> See the math, where's the trap? Yeah, for some reason it's called math trap. I don't know why. Doesn't make a lot of sense. Oh, well. I will be right back, everybody. The prolific Moraf, yeah. The household name Moraf where? I gotta take a short break. I'll be right back, everybody. Beer me.
and we're back let's get back to it our next game is called maze van let's play maze man hello arkanoid addict good to see you friend how are you doing today Everyone check out Arkanoid Addict, fantastic retro streamer, very high skill gameplay over there. You can see him acing a lot of really t the toughest NES games. Hard to get some sleep uh, up late. Well, we can lull you to sleep with some AOL shareware. How's that sound? Put you right out. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, oh, let's be on the virtual machine. Mazeman. All righty, let's do it. Maze Man 1.2 by Nathan Pamer. This game is loosely based on a game by Carol Abbott under the name Amaze. Special thanks to Madeline Pamer for drawing all of the cool bitmaps. Cool. This game is $5 shareware. Have you paid your shareware fee yet? No. Then please do. Send your $5 along with your name, address, and email address to Nathan Pamer. Your donation will go towards new computers slash programs so I can program better games in the future. And of course, you get $5 off the fees of every future non-commercial version of Maze Man. So send in your money today. Do it. All right. New game. Let's do it. It's maze time. Um, can we go on the edge? Okay. We got little collector thingies. Interesting. I think we played the game that this is kind of loosely based on called Amaze. It's called Amazing, the version we played. That game had really good music. This game has none. Maze man, maze man. He's a man stuck in a maze. That's true. These are true facts. We've only got a few minutes left. Can we do it? I guess we've got to... It's not like find the exit. It's find all of the little blue squares. All right. Got to find the entrance to this area. Oh, there it is. This looks just like the layout of those uh, mazes in um, Breath of the Wild, where it's got like the cross through the center. It's a little bit more uh, complex, but similar maze design. You win. All right. And it just gets more complex. Okay. Uh, I think we get the gist. That's Maze Man and current game. We did it. We played Maze Man. Next game. Next game is called Merlin. The famous wizard Merlin of Arthurian legend, one can only assume. Maybe it's a different Merlin though, I don't know, let's find out. Ooh, here we go. Uh, 
The Quest for the Wand. Oh my god, this map. Oh, is this a board game? Players. Number of players, one through three, one. Guess so. Whoa. This game is shareware. If you keep it for more than seven days, you are expected to register. This is you, red player, red player. So I'm blue. How does this work? Die? Like Enja? Uh, no way. You've heard of Merlin. He's a magical swordfish. Quest for the general massage wand, yes. That's enchantasy. Okay, I like the music. I really like the music. Uh, help. The purpose of this game is to find a key hidden in one of the chests on the level one map and bring the gate of Billiam, called Bill Gates. What? This will build <laughs> the gate of Billiam called Bill Gates. That's great. This will bring you to level two where you must find a wand hidden in one of the chests on level two map and bring it to Merlin's castle. You are the light blue player who starts south of the blue castle. You use the arrow keys to move around. You move according to the die at the bottom of the screen. The rectangle around the die is light blue. You turn the move. Your die shows four. You can move four steps in one direction. If you are if a dead end, you can turn back. But against one of three computer players, you can set the number of computer players. Yeah. Start H2 game. Gold bar and silver. Ah, okay. If player wants to stop without moving as many bars as that indicates he or she can push enter. This costs one silver bar. Oh, okay. If you want to go from land to sea, you must pay one gold bar. If a player stops on top of a chest you will open it it might be empty it might contain a silver or gold bar a key or a wand and you might be ambushed by trigger happy gangsters that will mug him of all his gold and silver bars if a player stops on top of another player you will mug him of all his gold and silver bars as well as taking the key slash wand if the other player possesses it the computerized players win by bringing the key and wand to the black castle the die was to be found under the different chests are decided by a random function initialized by the system clock oh so that each game becomes unique. That's fun. Fiddler on the roof. <laughs> if I were a rich man. Okay, so I'm beneath the castle. Where's the castle? Where am I? Who am I? I don't see the castle. Oh. Well, there's Gate Billiam. If I were a Merlin. Oh, now I see. Okay. So we got to find the chests. We have four. This is like some messed up Mario Party. Really? A one? Oh my, he got shot! <laughs> That's great! Okay, I got four, so I can do... One, two, three, four. What do we get? Silver bar, good. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, whoops. Perfect. What do we get? Oh no, I've been mugged. That's fine. Okay. 
God rest you, married gentlemen. The Godfather, Fiddler. Yeah, it's just all over the place. Someone found like a bunch of just like PC speaker things of just random tracks. Silver bar. Okay. Silver bar for him. Lucky. You know, it's going to suck if he gets the key. Although, he has to go all the way where I am, so I'll have a chance to intercept. It's not that bad, actually. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I don't have the money. I like the use of die. Yeah, same. Look at a traffic sim more than a sword and some stone, yeah. Empty? That's fine. Da -da 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 -da. That's so good. Oh no, I've been mugged. This is just so much RNG. Basically, if he finds the key, I've got to intercept him and mug him. Before he gets to the Black Castle. I want to see what the second map looks like. Bounce between these two chests till I get one. There we go. Diddle, 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 diddle. It seems like you could get stuck on one of the islands. Rainbow empty gif. Yeah, that would be a good emote. Maybe I should steal that. Just stop. You can spend a silver bar to stop on the spot. Diddle 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 Got a silver bar. Of course, I land right in the middle.
empty. Just like my soul. He's really checking out all of Bone Island. Meanwhile, I'm stuck over here at the Bay of Blues. the key. Nope. What if I hit the speed up? 100. Guess so. Oh, it's slower now? It's not what I wanted at all. One. Oh, it's way slower. What the hell? Oh, no, it's just... Oh, it was only one move. Okay. I see. It just does the move in one. Okay, I see. Key, hell yeah. Is that Peter Gunn? him first. Peter Gunn. Do, 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 do. scary. This becomes a lot more intense when I actually have the key. I hope I'm not getting mugged. Yeah, that's fine. barred across the sea.
No, I've been mugged. That's unfortunate. Problem is, I don't have enough gold to get to where I need to go. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, there we go. This is scary. He doesn't have anything to steal. That's not what I meant to do. Now he can't get to me. He's got to get... Okay, he... I guess they get free passage. We need some gold. Yes! Perfect. No! Mug him. Dude, if he gets across, it's unfair because I can't actually chase him. Okay, at least I can possibly get a mugging. There we go. This is crazy. That's scary that he's got a silver bar now. No, I was so close. I took it back. Hey, I did it. <laughs> That's pretty lucky. It's the same. Well, it's not quite the same, but it's similar. Where is Wizard Island? It's down there. Let's see if we can win. This game is weirdly fun. I don't want to take the chance that, like, it's here. Silver bar, good. Ah, get mugged. It was a mimic. Oh no, I've been mugged. Is it gonna let me pass? Is this game over? Ha! 
I'm stuck. I can't actually progress. Because I don't have gold. I'm soft locked. They didn't really account for the fact that you could get stuck on an island. Or at least that's just how the game goes, I guess. Well, I guess we lose. <laughs> that's it for Merlin. I guess so. Pretty interesting game. Not terrible. All right, next game on the list is called Mimi and the Mites. Unobstructed Reset Corporation presents Freeware. Please distribute Mimi and the Mites. Mimi in peril, caught unawares in a stray teleportation beam while mall shopping in Saranac, New York. Well, wow, that's not too far from here. Mimi is whisked straight away to the dwelling place of the Mites, a race of curious blue creatures with a perplexing agenda. Mimi proceeds through the underground lair at her peril. Armed with her wits and a multifunction weapon, she bravely faces the challenges that lay between her and the exit to her world. Mimi yearns to return to her mall. Trash friends. Press on, Mimi. It's like really quiet. Notes. Okay. All right, let's do it. How do I? It's not doing anything. Oh. New game. Path of Peril. All right, can you guys hear the game? Can you hear the music? Ooh, this is interesting. This is like Math Blaster. <laughs> This is actually kind of neat. Oh, that was an enemy? Blanket toss time. What? What? Oh, I got caught. I see. That was like a game over screen, I think. Might's rule. I guess so. No. Oh, I see. That's a teleporter. Got it. This is cool. I really like the art style. Exit. Leave. All right. Cool. Dude, this is great. Okay. I don't have ammo. I did it. 
dude. This is a f this is awesome. <laughs> I don't. I I've never seen this before. Never heard of it. I am absolutely charmed right now. Yes, sir. This is absolutely a diamond. Okay, that teleporter's inactive. Portals? This game has portals? In 95 or whatever? Oh, that's cool. Pushing here. I mean, I'm killing them, but. This is like puzzle platformer action game. It's just like, it, it, it's just, it's fun. Like I, <laughs> Cody Kitty, so you just playing AL, A A O L O L games? I am playing AOL games, Cody Kitty, nice to meet you. We're playing all of the games released on the service. Like a toss time in the kids only section back in the nineties. And we're going through them one by one, letter by letter. We're currently in the M's, playing Mimi and the Mites. Hell yeah. Yeah, we've hit a lot of really cool ones. This is fantastic. I never played this one. I actually had AOL growing up, and I did download a lot of games, but I don't think I ever downloaded this one. This is very unique. I've never played a game quite like this. It's like a little bit of Lemmings, like just with the puzzle style. But if, if you were playing a character amongst the lemmings and had to try to kill them. Oh my god, they're coming after me. So these are teleporting my shots and it's like activating switches. And then they slurp down into the holes there. I don't actually play the games, just use the discs as frisbees. Fair enough. They made really good coasters. Oh, I didn't see them.
How's it going, Coded Kitty? It's nice to meet you. Over on the YouTubes. We're also streaming on Twitch. Oh, man, they keep sneak up, sneaking up on me. Are we good at eating some Taco Bell? Hell yeah. You'll love to see it. What if I alternate? These guys remind me of Super Putty. Oh man, my favorite game. That is a tough one. I really enjoyed, uh, we, when we did the H's not long ago, I really enjoyed Hugo's House of Horrors. That was an absolute gem. And if you're a fan of uh, old Sierra point and clicks, I highly recommend it. Okay, I'm out of ammo. That's bad. I've done this wrong. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, but I didn't do it right. I don't exactly understand what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> it's all right. It's a cool game. I actually really want to play more of this. This level is very strange compared to the other ones. Like the other ones, it's been really clear what I'm supposed to do and what's happening. But this one, I'm just like, the shots are teleporting all over the place. Sometimes they come down here and sometimes they don't. Oh, I didn't see that guy. I always miss it when they show up here. I can go up. I can't go down. Maybe I just have to wait and kill the ones that happen to wander into my territory. But they don't seem to come from the left, they come from the right. I love how there's two of them playing catch on the right side. Oh, I just, I get distracted. <laughs> Let's try again. Do, 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 do. There's just been so many great games. There's been a lot of like, kind of whatever games, but there's been a lot of really fun ones and cool ones. I really enjoyed checking out some of these RPGs that we played through a bit of. I, I can't wait to actually like dive into some more of those at some point, like uh, Exile. Exile's super fun. Oh man. So they eventually just overrun me. They play Speedy Egbert. Never heard of it, Coded Kitty. Good music in this game. Hey, Bert, he's pretty speedy. Oh, sounds about right. Oh, they got me. All right, this is an interesting game. I want to play more of it. It's definitely going in the diamonds. We'll check this out in the future again. I got a little stuck on that last stage, but that's okay. What is with the menu here? Load new player. Oh, 
Whoops. Things are working. Good music, though. We're just going to have to end task out of that. Seems strange. And it. There we go. Yes. Cool. Alrighty. Next game on the list. Uh, did I. Hold on. Did I find MindScan? Uh, there's a game called MindScan that was missing. Low hum. I'm going to have to restart my virtual machine. Don't want to take long. Um, mind scan was missing, so we're skipping that. Mismatch is the next one, which will be on the virtual machine, which is currently restarting. Yeah, I'm still hearing a weird hum. I wonder where that's coming from. Oh, well. <laughs> It's very low. I don't. You, you guys probably can't hear it. What about Mr. Match? It's a good question. Yeah, that's weird. What is that? What is that coming from? Do you guys hear that? Just a low hum. I don't think you do. It's not showing up on the capture. Maybe it's just my headphones. Yeah, that's bizarre. What's making that noise? Huh. Do you hear, do you guys hear like a low buzzing sound? Or is that just me? Maybe I'm losing it. Burn. Always your voices, don't we all? Well, that's okay. Let's play mismatch. Mismatch is a shareware program, which means you have the right to use it for a limited time to see if you like it. Once your trial period has expired, you must either register or remove it from your computer. Registers project, fill in your name and address, print order, mail it, receive registration number, enter in the space provided. Okay, we're unregistered. That's okay. We'll register later, I promise. Oh boy, another match tile game. Ribbit. Ribbit. Please proceed. No. No. Ooh. Nya. Nya. Ooh. Nya. Ooh. Panic. Nya. 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 Excellent! Totally. Please proceed. Legally sourced sound. Please proceed. Level two. Please proceed. Okay, it's just more. It's just it's another matching game. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> Next game. Next game is called Mr. Mind. Let's play Mr. Mind. Excellent! Like the Pokemon, yeah, like Mr. Mr. Mime. Mr. Mind. I have a feeling it's going to be another Mastermind game. Bye. 
Welcome to another ESS game. Oh yeah, you guys can't see it. Let's fix that. Hey, 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 this looks familiar. It's just not in 3D this time. It might be in relation to the Mind Master. Uh, we have a lot more tries. Peg bucket. I love it. I love the peg bucket. All right. What if we do all red? What if it's all red? Two are correct. So what if we do red, red, blue, blue. One's in the correct spot, two are correct in the wrong spot. So what if we do red, red, blue, green. Okay, we've got three corrects, but none in the right spot. So, red, uh, red, blue, yellow. Two in the right spot. We got four correct colors. So we've got all the right colors, but two are in the wrong spot. So blue. Um red. Red. Yellow. Ooh, very close. So red, red, yellow, blue. Hey, we did it. That was easy. Unless black's the one that's in the red, right spots. Am I reading this wrong? I think I'm reading this wrong. Black's the one that's in the right spots. Oh, okay. So, big brain, yeah. But we still have all the right colors. So, red, red, yellow, blue. Two are in the right spot, two are not. Um, red, red, yellow, red, red, yellow, blue. Okay. Red. Blue, red, yellow. <laughs> do -do -do -do. Okay, we did it. We did it, Mastermind. We've done Mastermind twice today and one on the first try each time. Let's play the next game, which is called... Do, 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 do. Oops. Called Modern Warfare. Let's see what this is. Warfare. 
Sorry, that was a bit loud. <laughs> Everybody awake yet? The story. It was the year 2012. A military alliance is formed between China and North Korea. <laughs> Louder, yeah. The world did not recognize the true danger of this alliance. While most of the world performed military downsizing, the Chinese and North Korean alliance increased their military strength. It became more, more powerful than any one nation in the world. On July 28, 2017, these powerful allies overran the South Korean border defenses. Using a blitzkrieg-like strategy, Seoul was captured in a matter of days. The rest of the South Korean fell to uh, the allies during the following two weeks. Only a small makeshift U.S. base located in the port city of Pusan remained in South Korea. U.S. reinforcements began to arrive. Now the stage was set for all-out war. The outcome will depend on your skills as a something. It's cut off. Military tactician? I don't know. New game. Let's go easy. I'm not control the US. Your location. Oh, it's opening up multiple windows, but that's fine. It's showing the it's showing the Chinese map. It's showing me that I'm in South Korea. Mission one, you've arrived to reinforce the soldiers' base in Pusan. Now take the Chinese-controlled city of Makopo. This action will secure the coast. All right, how does this work? Oh, this is like Advance Wars. Whoa, okay. Hey, Megashi-sama. Even 250,000 to Yoshi's Highland. Thank you very much. Whoa. This is like that other game we played. 125 days worth, hell yeah. Oh, okay, there's our movement. Where's the enemy? Let's just move these guys here. Is that? Oh, there's the enemy, okay. The president's the kid up the digits. Are you a bad enough dude to rescue the president? Do you have fuel? I wanna see what combat looks like in this. Oh my god, Ghost Girl, thank you so much for the raid! How was Hitman? Everyone follow Ghost Girl, our fellow Treppy and stream team leader of the Fruities. It is an honor to be raided by you, my friend. The Fruity Treppy raid, hell yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> it was hard. Yeah, Hitman's tough. I saw you switch to Goose Game, which is basically Hitman as well. <laughs> How'd the charity go? <laughs> Ghost is harassing elderly folk. Nice. Probably in both games, honestly. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for the raid. We're doing uh, AOL shareware games. Currently playing a game called Modern Warfare, which is a lot like Advance Wars, oddly. Uh, but yeah, it's been fun. Uh...
Quite a jam in this one, honestly. <laughs> Immediately looks confusing. Yeah, it's kind of like a little like uh, tactical war game. The art does look kind of familiar too. Da, 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 da. Yeah, everyone go follow Ghost Girl. Fantastic streamer. Does all sorts of stuff like Final Fantasy X and, uh, like I said, was just playing Hitman. Hitman 3. Yeah, it does look a bit like Winged Warrior, which I can't wait to get to that. I remember having a lot of fun playing those Winged Warrior games. Dude. I appear to have... Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. Let's move some more infantry. Uh, what is this? A tank? Oh, yeah. That's a tank. Move it up. Get a lot of game for the shareware versions. Wonder if uh, full unlock versions are floating around. Yeah, it's hard to find some of them. Some of them are really impossible to find. Arena is like the golden goose for me. Oh, that's like artillery. Yeah, this is just like Advance Wars, which is crazy because Advance Wars didn't come to the US until way later. I mean, there are other games that are similar that came to the US, but. Da -na -na -na. All right, now the computer's turn. They're going to move. At least we get to see the computer moves in this. Oh my god, we're surrounded. The map's way bigger than I realized. I really just want to see what combat is like. Like what the actual anime... If there's like animations... Okay, it's my turn. Can I, like, build anything? It doesn't look like it. I've just got a bunch of infantry and, like, some tanks and stuff. Alright, let's move up. We kind of want to get the tank ahead of the infantry. play out this whole match I'm just I just want to see what happens when we get into the actual fighting and that's gonna kind of determine whether I try to seek out the full version of this game Thank you for the contributions to Yoshi's Highland, Casey, and Ghost Girl. No worries. Do some self care post stream. Thank you so much again for the raid, Ghost Girl. I really appreciate it. Troops are on the move. We're getting close to whatever these are. IDF. This is INFO infantry. That makes sense. Uh, cancel. I don't want to move. Okay, put the bend. Are you sure? No. Cancel. There we go. 
Can we ambush them? Or can we hold the bridge? I think that'd be the best move. Seems like they can't move past each other, which is unfortunate. Weapon one. All right, let's see if there's any combat animation. Oh, there is. It's just like Advance Wars. That's so surprising. Like this is clearly influenced by what was then called Famicom Wars. What game, what, when did this game come out? I don't even know. That's so cool. It has like a full campaign and everything, which the early Famicom Wars games did not have campaigns. It was just a combat sim. I'm gonna have to see if I can find the full version of this. It's pretty cool. Pretty well done. Miss. Nice! Da, 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 da. How are you doing, Casey? It's good to see you as well. Casey is another double team member. Member of the Treppies, member of the Fruities. Fantastic streamer as well. Weapon one, attack. Are you sure? Yes. Predictably, the infantry does not do much against the tank. Oh, and they got wiped out totally. Brutalized. Oh, you watched WrestleMania, nice. Everyone check out Casey. Doing super good to watch Super Mania with some buddies, and that was fun. That sounds awesome. I have no idea what's, go what's going on, but it's rad. Yeah, that's basically what happens when I watch wrestling. I'm like, ah, I don't know what's happening, but it's exciting. The map layout reminds of the Dragon Quest games on the NES. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty accurate, I'd say. Welcome on in Who Cares Gaming. Let's see how a tank does against another tank. Bang. Miss. Uh, probably because he's in the water. Boom. Okay. Well, I, only, I only took three damage. So that's fine. Uh, move up. Not sure what an FCM is. But we do have artillery. Let's see how the artillery does against the tank. Oh, it destroyed it! Man, that artillery is powerful. Oh, this is so cool. This is uh, diamond material for sure. Okay, so whatever that was got wrecked by artillery. Artillery is extremely scary in this game. You don't want to get in range of their artillery ever if you can avoid it. I think the goal is to like get them to get their artillery closer and then move your artillery in to take out their artillery during your turn. Because it is devastating. And it has such high range too. Look at this. Boom! Dead. 
Okay, well, this is super cool. I definitely want to see more of this. Diamond material for sure. We can press F2 to view the entire map. Oh, I see. You can't see that because it's a separate window, but it, you can view the whole map. That's nice. You can save the game. Cool. Very neat. Very nice little unknown game there. Modern Warfare. Very cool. Uh, we're going to go to a short break. I will be right back, everybody. And then we'll play more M games. We've still got plenty more to go. So I'll be right back in about three minutes. A quick ad break to get rid of the pre-rolls. But yeah, BRB.
We are back, and ladies and gentlemen, we are under attack. We have been shreked by Effector of Change. Welcome on in, Effector of Change. How are you doing today? Another double team member, friend of ours, member of the Treppies, member of the Fruities. Everyone follow Effector of Change if you're not already. You will not be disappointed. We play D&D &D on his channel once a week, Frog Pond Academy. And he also does lots of Final Fantasy and other RPG goodness. Sending on the Shrek love. You know. I see that. The Shrek love, the Shrek life. Let's continue with our AOL shareware. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. With the next game on the list, which just so happens to be called Monodice. Let's play some mono dice. Bam. Mono dice on DOS. Monopoly dice game clone. <laughs> <laughs> a two-player game. Press enter to start. Player one, what is your name? Who wants to be my player two? Who wants to play mono dice? Any takers? What if I just say chat? Want to play mono dice against me, chat? Do you need instructions? Nah, I think we got it. Chat be plunge. That's how it was with trivia too. I'm assuming this is just Monopoly. Uh, all right, plunge is your turn. Roll. What is happening? Maybe this is not Monopoly. Press a number for which dice to use. Zero for none, A for 10. And then use the up and down arrow keys to move the dice to the desired destination. It's a dice game. Uh, let's go with wild. I'm not sure how to play this game. Maybe I should have said yes to the instruction. I don't understand. But, uh, but, uh, Okay, let's restart this and look at the instructions. This is a bit more this is a bit more complex than I thought it would be. I don't know if we're gonna be able to play this game together. <laughs> yes. On each turn you will roll the different value dice as many times as possible. A match consists of two, three, or four dice with the same light uh, light bulb plus with the same color or picture. Okay. Or both utilities. The light bulb plus water faucet. But if you roll all three dice that spell out, go to jail, your turn ends and you lose all the points. I see. You rolled so, uh, for the, so how far will you push your luck? On your turn, you'll roll all ten dice. If you roll a go to or a jail... Uh, those dice immediately go to the top of the game board. I see. If in one of the rolls you will roll all three dice that add up to go to jail, your turn ends and you, you score nothing for that turn. 
Each time you roll, you may take any of the other rolled dice and choose to place them on their matching spaces on the player board as you try to accumulate matches. I see. Keep rolling the remaining dice as you dare. Once you have placed a die on the board, you may not remove it. A wild die, however you want. Add it to another color utility railroad to make a match. Put it on an empty space in hopes of rolling a die that, that color. Okay, I see. Uh, you may end your turn at any point as long as you do so before the, you go to jail. Number of dice needed for various matches. Two dice. Okay, I see. Scoring. You will arrange your matches from 600 points to brown to three to 500 points for blue. If you roll all the dice that spell go to jail, your score is zero for that hand. The first player to reach 25,000 points wins the game. To roll, press R. If you're done pressing your luck, press D. After you roll, you have an option to use the dice at the bottom of the screen. Pressing the dice number will activate it. Use the arrow keys to move it up and down the board to its matching space and press Enter. If you say so you don't want it to use it, move to the last space and then beyond. The dice will disappear. Press Enter at this time and the die will move back to its original location. And then press another number. Okay. Okay. I understand now. Roll. I literally got will go to jail on the first roll. This game sucks. Alright, chat, it's your turn. You've already got two in jail. Um so I'll just go ahead and throw your matches up. How do I select 10? A for 10, got it. What up? <laughs> All right, chat, you guys have two wilds. Where do you want those two wilds? Fight amongst yourselves. Uh. <laughs> Purple? Okay. I think that's a, a fair assessment. Both of them on purple, Casey? Oh, you can only put one on one. You only put three, three in one. So purple and uh, utilities, probably? Or do you want it on the yellow utilities? Yeah, that makes sense. Do you want to roll again? Want to push your luck? Roll. All right. Casey says roll. Uh, how do I? There we go. All right. Oh, I think you immediately rolled. <laughs> it's going to be a long match. Uh, zero points on the board. Round two. I already have going two again. All right. Well, I'm just going to do four. And six. It gives me 3,500. Five. Seven. Eight. Nine. Uh, I don't know where the light bulbs go. Oh, I see. Utilities. Uh, 10. Uh, I'm done. <laughs> All right. Chat's turn. We only got two that time. That's lucky. Thank you. 
All right, chat, do you want to roll again? Press your luck. There you go. All right. Did it not roll? What's happening? Oh, because we only have one die left? Is that it? I don't understand. I see, because you only have one dice left. Well, this is an interesting game. I don't want to play a full round of it because it would take too long. Totally lost. Yeah, it's weird. You have to like use as many die as possible, get as many points as possible, and you want to get more points than the enemy team. And if you roll, go to jail uh, at any point, you lose uh, that round. It's interesting. It could be fun for like a round or two, <laughs> but it's, it's one of those dice games. It's just so art. It's like literally RNG. We played it. It works. It's a game that people can play. Next game on the list is called Mordor. Mordor. Let's play Mordor. Cuz one does not simply walk there. Let's go to the Shire. Perfect. Excellent. This is the public version of Mordor 1.1. So please feel free to give it to your friends and distribute it as you wish. Order the full commercial release now for hundreds of additional monsters, items, and over a dozen more levels to explore. For more information ordering, yeah. That's a jam. Look at this art. Look at this clip art. character we are plunge oh boy we got lots of races human elf giant gnome dwarf ogre morlock osiri troll what's an osiri i don't know what that is i don't know what a morlock is either are they're a villain oh there's the classes allowed Morlock. No idea, yeah. Troll. So, like, I guess the guilds are, like, what class you are, kind of. Ninja troll. Giant. Warrior or seeker. Elf. Oh man, this is awesome music. I want to know what these different classes are too. Oh, stats. The whole freaking D&D system here. All right. This is pretty uh uh, complex. Holy crap. Okay, so this just gives us, like, charts. Size and resistance chart. Interesting. I don't know, Morlocks from X-Men. Yeah, you're correct. The Morlocks are an X-Men thing. I think these are different, though. I kind of just want basic information. 
This gives me all the stat blocks, though. That's nice. Tutorial. Welcome to Mordor Tutorial. The section is designed to walk through creating a character, buying the proper items in a store, entering the dungeon, and dealing with your first monster. First thing you do is select create a character. Once you've done that, you'll have the character creation screen pop up. Go ahead and pick whatever your name is like, select a human for race, and whatever sex you like. Pick neutral for alignment. Interesting. What if I don't want to be a human? Overview of stats. That's so much info. Okay, we're going to ignore this for now. Guild stats. Those are just stat blocks for like all the different guilds that you can be. This is so complicated. Holy crap. I love this. <laughs> all right. We're not going to take it super seriously. We're just going to be a Morlock. Uh, we've got stats left. Let's put some into Strength. Intelligence. Strength. Charisma. Okay. Save character. I think I've made a character before just to test it out. Enter password. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I see. Password. Are you using large fonts? No. Run plunger. So much. Okay. This is pretty cool. So I'm a nomad right now. Uh, general store, what can we get? Well, how much gold do we have? Oh, 1,500, nice. So that, do I have any starting equipment? Uh, where's my inventory? Seer. Oh, the city seer. Party information. There's the auto map. Okay. That's neat. This looks like it could be really fun. Pick up character, I see. Ask to join. Do, do, do. Exit. Exit the main menu now. Whatever, let's just buy a bronze dagger. Plot two now contains your bronze dagger. I see. Equip. All right, we're equipped. We buy armor too. Leather armor. Buy. Okay. Spells. Set sanctuary. Cast. Can I cast spells when it's saved? Got it. Guilds. Welcome to the Nomads Guild. Visit the library. Okay, you just learn. Wow, this is this is a lot. There's items. Okay. 
Uh, exit. Org. Dungeon. All right, there's the dungeon. We're in it. This is cool. Giant spiders. Oh, wow. Fighting's automatic. Okay. Fighting just kind of happens. Giant spider. Oh, I'm dead. Wait for rescue. You've found after one day's... A small fee of 29,000 is required for your resurrection. However, since you are just starting out, the guild offers to pay for your resurrection. Chance of success is 98%. Success. Oh my god, there's so much happening in this. It's insane. Confinement. By companions? Weird. There is a lot happening in this. Go back to the dungeon. Do, do, do. Giant spider. Do, 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 do. Got him. Am I poisoned? Yeah, I'm dying slowly. I now have enough experience to make a level, but I'm dying from poison. Outcast goblins. Uh oh, wait for rescue. Yep. Now seven weeks and five days older. That's crazy. This is doing a lot of calculations. Yeah, this is cool. Oh my god, 90s Craig. Thank you so much for the raid, friend. Appreciate it. What were you streaming tonight? I'm gonna check out 90s Craig. This was the raid. We're playing AOL Shareware. 90s. 90s time here too. <laughs> we're all about it. You had me at AOL Shareware. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, man. We're going through all of it. We're playing uh, Mordor right now. Anyone ever play Mordor? It's pretty interesting. You were playing Lion King on Genesis. Hell yes. Gonna beat it one of these days. That's a tough one. Although the Genesis version is easier to play than the SNES version. I will say that much. Uh, this is a really neat RPG. It's got a lot going on. How far did you get in Lion King? Ugh. Am I still poisoned? No, I just went up against the wall. That's what happened. What pad? Exploding trap? <laughs> Combat just sort of happens. Did I pick the easy one? Yes. How far how far did you get in Lion King? My goal was to make it to the stampede, and I made it to the stampede. Well good enough. That's a that's a pretty good achievement. Getting past that uh, that monkey maze is the one of the hardest parts of the game. For me, one of the hardest parts of the game was uh, the um, the logs in the Hakuna Matata level. That that kills me every time. I just get stuck on them and I can't jump high enough. Why is it more difficult on the SNES? Uh, it's, uh, there's a weird issue that's hard to describe unless you play both of them. Um, yeah, waterfall logs. I have, there's a really good clip of, of me getting stuck on that for like a really long time. Um, the, the SNES version doesn't have as good, like, uh, hit detection for when you're trying to grab onto ledges and things as the Genesis version. And you just like, it's like a smaller, it's like less less pixels. Looks a little bit nicer on the Genesis though, or on the uh, on the SNES though, I think, and sounds a little bit nicer, but it's much easier to play on Genesis. And thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. 
Um, yeah, this game is fascinating. It, it's like a full on Dungeons and Dragons type game. Like it has like stat blocks and everything. And it's got like a, looks like it's got a dungeon. You just go to the dungeon and you fight things. Kind of like Etrian Odyssey. It's got very, uh, very good monster designs, I'd say. And we're dead. But we can wait for rescue. They'll take our money. We found out for two days. And we're resurrected. I definitely want to check out more of this game. But, uh... There's a lot going on here. And there's a whole... It reminds me of Etrian Odyssey. Where it's just like... Um... You... You know, buy stuff in the town, and then you go down to the dungeon, and you come back. And there, there's probably quests. I miss AOL. It used to be so much wares sharing via the mailbox system. Yes, exactly. Yeah, but this has been a cool one to check out. Let's move on to the next game on the list. Uh, how do I exit? Exit! Ba -da -da -da. This is one that you want to, like, go through the tutorials and stuff for. Like, pretty cool. Definitely we'll check out more of that in the future. What's going in the diamonds? But yes, we're going through every AOL shareware game released on the kids only section. Our next game on the list is Mortuum. We're going through them in alphabetical order, so we're in the M's today. So these shareware games, uh, were these exclusive AOL or what? This is neat. Uh, so there definitely are some exclusives. Uh, there are some games that lived their entire life on the internet in the AOL shareware list. Uh, a lot of them, oh, there are a lot of games that uh, were not exclusive to that list. There are a lot of famous games. Like we, last week, we played Heretic, which everybody knows about. Heretic, that's like the the Doom clone. That's like fantasy based. Like you know, there there was a Magic the Gathering game that we tried to play, but it wasn't working. But then there's just like some guy made a game and put it on AOL, and it never showed up anywhere else. Um, and what's really awesome is that uh. We played a game called Bombs Away. Let me just bring it up real quick. I could show you guys. Uh, we played a game called Bombs Away. Some of you may remember this game. I know that a few people remembered it when I played it initially. Uh, there it is. Bombs Away. This game was made by a kid. Um, it's pretty fun. So the maker of this game uh, saw that I was playing it and was super excited because that's actually like his game that he made when he was a kid and he put it on AOL and then suddenly some YouTubers playing it. <laughs> Very cool. And he, he was Googling it to find like screenshots or whatever or see if he could find it and get it running it was like a few weeks a few weeks after i played it he found my youtube video of it because i upload all this stuff to youtube and uh he was like wow that's really crazy someone's playing my game so yeah this is bomb away bombs away pretty simple little game you just gotta you get like upgrades in between you gotta shoot these very clearly you know just a quick little game. And it, it just, you know, it was on AOL shareware. And uh, it just existed there and it never left anywhere else. And uh, the developer of it, uh, Phil, he came, he contacted me and was like, hey, that's really cool that you played my game. Can you help me find this other game that was on AOL? And it wasn't in my list. It was called Glide. Uh, but we found it in the Internet Archive because someone had uploaded it to the Internet Archive. And so now we've helped him find his other game, which was kind of lost as well. So it's kind of, it's cool stuff, right? Play a slot machine. Yeah. 
One five dollars. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Love this story. This is my preservation report. Exactly. But yeah, it's it's super cool. It's super fun. Um, we're running a lot of these on a virtual machine right now that's set up running Windows 95. There's a little emulation. And uh, because a lot of these games don't run on modern... Surprisingly, some of them do run on modern stuff. Uh, but we've had to do some DOS boxing and some Windows 95 emulating. Um, the next one actually does run on, on modern machines. Uh, let's check out Mortuum. Oh, I remember this one. Watch them. Oh, I think I actually want to run this on the uh, virtual machine, though. Oh, no, I don't. It's a click and play. Never mind. Um, we're going to have to do display capture. But yeah, it's been super fun to go through all of these, and there's lots of them. There's some awesome gems. Uh, games that I've... N many games that I've never heard of. Some that I have. And this one I actually remember playing a lot of. Mortal. Sorry for the size. These click-and-play games don't resize very well. Okay. Go. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Watch out. Oi, oi. Okay, this is fun. I remember playing this. <laughs> so I have a button to swing the sword back and forth. Q and E swings it. Q swings it left. E swings it right. Don't let him escape. This is great. I also have spells. I didn't look how to do the spells. What's my spell button? Surround him. Surround him. Get him. He's mine. Oh, I think I just don't have enough magic. Hold still. Sound effects are Surround great. Him. Get him. Arr. Surround him. Surround him. Don't let him escape. Die. Die. Hold still. Die. It reminds me of like Smash TV. I died. <laughs> Game over. Oh, I have different weapons? Okay. W is cast spell. Okay. All right, let's try again. This might be the best click and play game. Down. Down. Yeah, let's try again. B 
Deal. Die. Die. Yes. Yes. Around him. Die, hell spawn. Die, hell spawn. Don't let him escape. Arr. Ah. Uh. There we go. Arr. Watch out. Oh, still. Oh, there we go. That's a spell. Don't let him escape. Die, hell spawn. Surround him. This is fun. He's mine. He's mine. He's mine. Die. Watch out. No. Surround him. Arr. Watch out. Oh no, I died. Ah, oh, it's difficult. But it's fun. And I remember that one. That brings me back. Well, that's Mortem. Mortem. Click and play games are really weird. Let's move on to the next game, shall we? The next game is called The Most Pointless Game. Let's see just how pointless it happens to be. To capture. There we go. All right, the most pointless game. Control fires the ball. Try to get the tops. Okay. Shift starts. Hey, there's a plunger. Wasn't that pointless, folks? That's it? I guess it was. There's a there's two players. That means you win. <laughs> Let's try again. Did we do it? One of the options, there's musics. Plural. What's that point? Wow, that's it. That's literally it. Amazing. Truly is the most pointless game. Fantastic. I think the most effort was put into like the scenery, which is pretty good. All things considered. Well, that's it for the most pointless game, everybody. That was quite pointless. It was another click and play. It's funny how we always get the click and plays at the end of the letters. Next game is called Miss Pack PC. I wonder what that's going to be.
MS Pack PC. Perfect. J Rock presents Miss Pack PC. Oh man, this is a pretty good clone, honestly. Can't go wrong with Pac with Miss Pac Man. Feels pretty good. See how far I can get. Buddy. Want, 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 want. Feels pretty good. Hey, whip. Did it. Next level. Color change? The color doesn't change. <laughs> Why would the color change? Eat the ghost. Nope. Ah. There we go. Got it. They meet. It's even got the cutscenes. That's cool. Ah, uh, now we're blue. Okay. Oh my god, they're so fast! There we go. Did I get a one-up? What was that sound? No, they trapped me. They're learning. No. Game over. Well, that's Miss Pac PC. A very competent Pac-Man clone. Thank you, J.P. Rowan. Uh, next is Miss Chomp. I wonder what that is. Next game on the list. Miss Chomp. Miss Chop, is it an old high school teacher of yours? Well, come on in, Big D. I hope. Oh my God, Strawberry Stem Twenty Two. Thank you for the raid. Hell yeah, this job. <laughs> well, come on in. What are you streaming?
You're just in time for Miss Chomp. Oh my god, it's super fast. I hope the game's not that fast. Oh, something's horribly wrong with this. I might have to try this on the virtual machine. See if I can get it there. Joust! Nice! The arcade version? Hell yeah, I love Joust. Well, welcome on in. We're doing AOL Shareware. Playing some arcade clones right now, as a matter of fact. Also, Wizardry and Apple II. Wizardry and Apple II. Oh, man. Yeah, those old Wizardry games are very difficult. I do not blame you for giving up. <laughs> Limit frame rate is at like 1,000. Yeah, let me try that again. Is there a way I can do that? Delay. There is a delay. Oh, it seems fine now. I'm gonna beat every game if I can of the Wikipedia list of games considered the greatest. Oh, that's interesting. I definitely want to check that out then, Strawberry System. That sounds like a fun challenge. Uh, how many games have you beaten so far? Oh yeah, what the hell? That's so funny. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> Uh, can we delay? What if we set the delay to 50? Not even close. Okay. Definitely need a lot more than 50. <laughs> Miss Pac-Man's why I rated you? Oh, that's awesome. That's a that's quite a coincidence because it's just been this little bit that we're playing Miss Pac-Man clones. Because <laughs> we're playing all of the AOL shareware games and we're on the M's, so we're hitting some Miss Pac-Man clones that were uploaded to AOL shareware in the nineties. What if we do a full delay? What does that look like? I'm just curious. Now it's a bit too slow. Let's try 9,000. It gives me a, so this game gives me an animation speed uh, option. I can, Pick between zero and ten thousand. Let's see what nine thousand looks like. That's better, but we could go a little bit faster, I think. Let's just try five thousand right in the middle. Okay, that feels about right. Not a lot of sound in this one. Nope, oh, there's some. <laughs> So what's your favorite of the greatest games that you've played so far, uh, Strawberry? Mm -hmm. oh, whip. Nope, that was a bad idea. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait.
All right, let's get past the first board at least. It just doesn't feel right without the waka waka waka. Nope. Yeah, I just can't do it. It just doesn't. I, I can't play it if I'm not getting uh. It doesn't feel right. But thanks again for the raid strawberry. I really appreciate it. We're gonna move on to the next M game, which is called MVP Backgammon Deluxe. I have no idea how to play backgammon, so this should be great. Back to the virtual machine. Oops, not that. MVP backgammon. Bam. Kane Garden Software. This game is shareware. You may freely try it. If you like it or find it useful, you must register with MVP Software. I like that it has music. That's always a plus. Hey, we got portraits. <laughs> the voice acting. Tyrol. Well, again. <laughs> Ty. Okay. 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 Du, 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 du. Great sound effects. Hold up. I have no idea what I'm doing. Da, 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 da. Okay, I would be happy to like learn backgammon. Suggest. Perfect. That's exactly what I needed. Okay. I see. Now I move that. Okay. Got it. <laughs> Roll it. Is there an autoplay? Can I make this game play itself? Auto roll. Uh 
Wow, yeah, there's multiple tracks. Select your tracks, that's cool. Move faster. Suggest. Uh, all right. Well, that's MVP backgammon. It works. I don't know how to play backgammon, or I'd play the whole round, or I'm just gonna lose anyways, or just do the suggest over and over again. But that's a nice little backgammon game. Goodbye. Goodbye. Got a lot of nice sound effects and music. That's pretty cool. It's always a plus. But I have no idea what I'm doing with backgammon. So. And there's one more game in the M's called Mystic Tower. Let's check out Mystic Tower. And that'll cap it off for the night. Mystic Towers. Be on the virtual machine. Going into MS-DOS mode. Apogee. Apogee games are pretty infamous. Mystic Towers, a Baron Baldrick game. Good music. Let's do it. Oh, there's a story. There's the story. Baron Baldrick receives a deputation from Rim Village. We, the villagers of Rim, beg you to rid us of the evil monsters who dwell in the Lazarine Tower across the valley. Only you can wield the wolf magic of your ancestors and save the village. Oh, please accept it. The Tower of Baldrick is ready to fulfill his quest. Good luck. All right, pretty simple. We're just going to go on a short break, and then we'll start that up real quick. Oh, BRB, everybody. BRB.
And we're back. Fucking kicking track on this one. Let's give it a shot. Start a quest cycle. One apprentice and one wizard tower. Let's do it. What is this? Sokoban? No. Oh, what is... Whoa. Oh. This is cool. Isometric RPG. All right. Sulfur. Heal spell. <laughs> oh, this is sick. Oh. Yeah. Red? Yum yum. Poison! Oh no! Did I die? Immediately? Okay, I think we're good. Use a teleport pad, select the teleport spell, and stand in the center of the pad, and then use action to trigger the spell! Okay. Venom Cloud! This is great. Teleport. So many spells! There we go. Whoa, hello. There is a generator bomb here. You will need this to, dis this to destroy the generator, which replaces monsters as they are killed. Okay. Bomb. You push an object by walking into it. You can pull an object with the pull button, backspace key on PC, and the topmost of st stacked objects moves first. Venom Cloud. There's a key. Oh no! Was that a pressure plate? Skull Rune signifies the presence of poison tiles on the floor. Eating a mushroom, drinking slime, or using heal spell will cure poison. Good to know. Oh, we are poisoned, so... Heal spell. There we go. This is pretty cool. Drink. Button. Door. Heal. There we go. Oh, okay. This is neat. Meta power. This will increases the power of any weapon spell. Go and kill some monsters before it times out. I see. Oh, kaboom. I like this a lot. There's a way up. Invisibility. While you're invisible, monsters cannot find you unless you run into them, and auto-shooting rooms will fire at you. Mm. Got I 
should just leave the room, I guess. Also, Big D I is in here. If you like what you're seeing here, check him out as well. He does a lot of Windows 3.5, other retro stuff. Fantastic streamer. Check him out. He's been recently playing the Uninvited game. I died. Okay, we're good. But yeah, check out Big D I Fantastic streamer. There's a lot of similar stuff that you find on here. With the AOL shareware, especially. A lot of variety on that channel. Take that! How many lives do I have? Four? That's not bad. Drink. Okay, teleport. Do I have that? Yes. Reveal. Wink. Well, oh, that closed it. Oh, I'm back up. Levitate. Bye. The monster generator is in this room. Select the bomb and use action to set it in the generator. No more new monsters. Bomb. Cool. Kaboom. Love it. What a unique game, honestly. Treasure. Do do do. Run away. Take it. Oh, no, I'm going to die. Oh, I died. Okay. Can't take the bread. It's like a there's like survival elements here. Like I have food and water. It's neat. Da -da -da. going on here? How do I stop this? Can I push this? Uh, 
press the button again, I guess. How do I get rid of this? Maybe I have to beat all the monsters? Take a lot of hits. Got him. Oh no. Go rocks. Got him. Not hungry. Teleport star you. What am I missing? Yum yum. Maybe if I can pull this. Can't pull it. Yeah, this feels like a diamond for sure. Very interesting little game. Maybe if I teleport back through. Can't seem to move that. Watermelon. When you see the flashing red tower key symbol in the monsters box at the top of the screen, collect the key which allows you to exit the tower. Ah, I see. Grim. The only way out again is by killing the monsters and destroying the generator to obtain the large tower exit key. Got it. Just gotta find all the monsters. But I haven't seen any more. It says there's nine left. Oh, was... I've got to go back down and beat the other ones. I see. you got to clear the whole tower. i got to find my way back to that ladder. I understand now. Let's cleanse the entirety of the tower. Every room. Room by room. Well, that's a really neat game, but I actually need to head off for the night. There's all the vicious enemies. Ah! Very cool. That was a fun one. There were some really cool gems in that set. It's been a fantastic shareware Sunday, as always. Thank you so much for all of you who hung out. 
And thank you, Strawberry System, 90s Craig, and Ghost Girl for the raids, of course. And Petey at the top. Have a good night, Effector. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. I'll see you all next time. Uh, I'll, I'll probably stream tomorrow. I can't see why not. Uh, but yeah, I'll catch you all later. Uh, we're going to raid our buddy Murig. Fantastic retro streamer, speedrunner extraordinaire. He's doing uh, a GoldenEye 007 for N64 challenge to beat on the hardest difficulty, uh, which has been super fun to watch. Very exciting. And he's very close to the end as well. Uh, very impressive. Uh, so send some love to Murik. Fantastic friend of the stream. Awesome all-around human being and very entertaining. Uh, but yeah, we will catch you tomorrow probably. And uh, I hope you all have a great evening or whatever it is in your time zones. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.